Hello, and, and welcome to Let's Talk About Book, where, <laughs> where we, we talk, talk about, about book, <laughs> and where we're very good at doing our intro. <laughs> it's funny because, like, literally right before this, I was like, all right, I'm going to, like, go over this so that, like, we do it, and then just, yeah. It's all right. Well, I'm Samivka. I'm Strawberry. And we're currently reading The Well of well Ascension. Ascension. And by and currently reading, I mean we finished yep. it. Yep. Yep, we are we are done with Wall of Ascension. We are done with Wall of Ascension. This is gonna be a long one. Yeah. It's as you can tell by how long it is, or by how two episodes <laughs> it is. <laughs> yep. Depend <laughs> depending on how it goes. Um but yeah, there was the, the oh boy. Yep. There this was... is this is all of like part four well, sorry, mm-hmm. starting with part part five and six. Yeah, part yeah, five yeah. and six both. But like the the end of the book, so. Yes, and I was like listening to it at night. Yeah. And uh things started going <laughs> and I was like it's so late, but I just need to finish this book, so I did. Yep. <laughs> uh and and it was it was really uh boy it was something. <laughs> I I can't get into it now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we are gonna talk about it. <laughs> yes, we are. We are gonna talk about it, and we always start with the epigraphs. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. All right. He is accustomed to giving up his own will for the greater good, as he sees it. Yeah. I have no doubt that if Elendi reaches the Well of Ascension, he will take up the power, and then, in the name of the presumed greater good, will give it up. Mm. Hmm. Which is interesting, cause, cause like n- now, like now, all these epigraphs, I, yep, make just like I, I'm just like, well, now I need to like compare them. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yep. Uh, but but we'll get into that. God, we'll get into that <laughs> at like the very end, yep. anyway. <laughs> uh, and before fifty one, and so I have made one final gamble. Mm-hmm. My pleas, my teachings, my objections, and even my treasons. We're all ineffectual. Elendi has other counselors now, ones who tell him what he wants to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's hard to have anything to say about these now. Yeah. That, like, it's the end, and, like, I know more about them. Yep. I have a young nephew, Juan Rashik. He hates all of Clenium with a passion of envious youth. He hates Elendi even more acutely, though the two have never met. For Rashik feels betrayed that one of our oppressors should have been chosen as the hero of ages. Mm-hmm. Elendi will need guides through the Terrace Mountains. I have charged Rashak with making certain that he and his trusted friends are chosen as those guides. Yeah. (laughs) Rashak is to try and lead Elendi in the wrong direction, to dissuade him, to discourage him, or otherwise otherwise foil his quest. Elendi doesn't know that he has been deceived, that we have all been deceived, and that he... mm, And he will not listen to me now. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It really does... Hmm. If Rashik fails to lead Elendi astray, then I have instructed the lad to kill my former friend. Yeah. It is a distant hope. Elendi has survived assassins, wars, catastrophes, and yet I hope that in the frozen uh, mountains of Terrace that he may finally be exposed. I hope for a miracle. Mm -hmm. Elendi must not reach the Well of Ascension. Elendi must not reach the Well of Ascension. (laughs) For he must not be allowed to release the thing that is imprisoned there. For he must not be allowed <laughs> to release the thing that is imprisoned, imprisoned there. there. Before chapter 59. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, the bit that was torn off mm-hmm. or whatever earlier. Yeah, had that happened? Like in the previous section. In the previous yeah, yeah, section yeah. with it being Yeah, but torn it was off. a different section that they mm-hmm. remembered like they they remembered it incorrectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the it spot didn't... that was torn off. The spot that was torn off. Yeah, well what did, cause what did they have it as? Um they had it as um like he must not take up the power for himself, I believe. Mm. But it's actually he must not like mm-hmm. release the thing that's imprisoned there. Yeah. Audacity sucks, and I hate it. I don't. But I try and do a very specific thing with the audio, but, like, I know that there is a way that you can pause the recording and then continue the recording without starting a new little section. Yeah. But I've lost the knowledge of it, apparently. Anyway, 
Sorry. <laughs> um, the, the the point is, is that we were talking about the part that got yes. ripped out. And I was like, did that happen in the last section? And it did happen in the last section. And um, yes, and, and it was... Uh, Alendi must not reach the Wall of Ascension. He must not be allowed to take the power for himself. Yep. Right. Uh, which is different from what the last bit of the epigraph says yes in here anyway sorry to get so frustrated about <laughs> that but wrangling with audacity is always difficult i've like yeah. learned some things to make the editing process easier and like the, with the truncating the audio yep. and i've recently figured out like compression yeah kind of to like try and like make it so that the audio is like a little bit louder but not making the stuff that's already loud, like, too loud yeah. by doing that, you know? Um, which, my God, trying to make the audio louder in Audacity is a nightmare. <laughs> they don't want you to do it. Yeah. Audacity does not want you to make audio louder. They just don't. Like, the, the, the setting that specifically just, like, amplify, like, yeah. make... If you try, like, like, genuinely, like, I'm just like, make it louder. No. Hmm. Just... It won't. Yeah. Like, it's, anyway. Anyway, maybe I'm just dumb and misunderstanding it. But, like, it's like, if you try and set it above zero, yeah, it just is like, no, you can't. It's like, so the part that actually makes it louder, yeah, you just, it just doesn't, then what's the point of this setting? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand how Audacity works a lot of the time. And I'm sorry that I'm ranting so much <laughs> about this. But anyway, that's the last of the epigraphs. Yeah. All right, so we're starting with chapter 49. Yep. Right. Uh, we're starting with chapter 49, and how many chapters are there? Um, like 59? 59 and then the epilogue. Yeah, so 59 and the epilogue, so like 60, basically. Um, so yeah, so there's, so there's a lot to go over. Yeah. Like 11 chapters, essentially, although the epilogue's fairly short, I think. Yeah. Um, so I actually have... A fair bit of notes for for these chapters. I was actually pretty good about taking notes for them. Uh, so chapter forty nine, they're leaving. Yeah, they're leaving Luthadel. Uh, <laughs> yes, to go to the Well of Ascension. To go to the Well of Ascension. Yes. Um, I just I was like, did I? Am I wrong? Is it no, not Luthadel? No, 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 no. I don't know why this audacity thing made me so mad. Yeah. It really just, like, threw me off. Like, my, I'm just all, like... Yeah. Whatever now. Um, they're, they're leaving Luthadel. They're running from Luthadel because they're like, we're gonna go to the Wall of Ascension. And Tyndall's supposed to go with them. Yep. But Tyndall is like arguing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with with ellen and wants him to stay yes and it's like vin's crazy <laughs> essentially it's like you know she's delusional and it's like i don't care if she's delusional yeah that's my wife <laughs> um you support her madness do not speak of my wife in that manner <laughs> right i trust your tendwell <laughs> yep and <laughs> And, and so my first note is they specifically use the word Messiah. Yeah. Tyndall specifically uses the word Messiah. Yeah. Which is funny because I had been making that joke for a little bit now, the whole Vince got Messiah syndrome yep. and like, try being the Messiah. Surely you won't regret becoming the Messiah. Yeah. And then they just come right out and use the word Messiah. Like, yep. oh, some sort of Messiah, which is funny to me because while i understand why they use the word yes. because like you know for the same reason that i was using the word but you know messiah is such a specific yeah thing you know like yep. the messiah <laughs> is such a specific thing to a specific set of religions right yep that that it's like kind of funny to have it pop up here in this, like, fantasy setting. That's some of his, like, I think his, like, bit biggest, like, criticism, mm -hmm. like, like as a writer, that, like, puts a lot of people off from his stuff, is, like, sometimes his word choice is, like, too modern or too, yeah, like, specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or whatever with, speci with the specific things. Right. And, and, and it's, like, I certainly understand, because, like, as someone who, from, from, what I've under from what I understand what you've said, like... Is, like, I'm trying to write in such a way as to be, like, the most people can, like, read it. Right, you know? right, right. Um, and, and so, like, he's not being super, like, flowery yeah. and, like, using crazy words. And so it's, like, people 
get messiah especially in like the english speaking world yeah because you know and so it's like it makes sense it comes with like like it gives like uh like kind of chosen one Mm -hmm. like feeling or whatever without saying like chosen one it's Mm -hmm. like a a more religious right kind of feeling of it right And, and it's also one of those just kind of funny things where it's like as you know, it, it's them using Messiah is funny for me as someone who knows stuff about like where the term Messiah comes yeah, from, yeah, yeah. in the sense of it's like Messiah means anointed one, yeah. And so it was just it used to just be a term for kings in uh, yeah, in like Judaism, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's like literally when you become king, you are anointed like with oil like yeah. literally yeah, they yeah, have yeah. oil and they yeah. pour it on you and there's like a few different people who are called messiah yeah because they were a king or because of whatever yeah, yeah, and yeah. so they were a messiah and so then like but now the messiah yeah as we sort of understand it you know it's like a specific figure is like a specific figure where it's like you know again shout out to esoterica who, who i remember from his like jewish mysticism playlist being like there's certain specific things about the messiah yeah, like, yeah. like specific criteria that are said like uh, the, the messiah will live for a thousand years if yeah, you haven't yeah, done yeah. that sorry you're not the messiah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right um and, and you know this sort of like taking it out of this sort of like specific thing and like now we have terms like messianic yes you know where it's like messiah has sort of been removed from the context to such a degree that like modern people like you know if you're a christian jesus was the messiah yeah you know and and we're not still like like you know christians are still waiting for like jesus to return yeah it's like the the return of the messiah still is kind of like a part of it but like in a different way than it is for like judaism you know where the messiah has not (laughs) You know, Jesus was not the Messiah, right. and so the Messiah has not come, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Shabbat Z was not the Messiah, even though people thought that he was going to be because he was born on Shabbat, which is also yeah. part of the whole Messianic prophecy thing. So it's like, it's just funny because it does have such a specific, like, cultural origin. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. It, it. you know, it's like, imagine if instead you know, you, you dropped, like, a Hindu term. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, if, yeah. if you refer to something as, like, a deva. Yep, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And, 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 and you could do that, and I feel like in a different sort of style of fantasy... Right, you then could, that, yeah. You could, like, do that and kind of get away with it. You know, I think about, like... Like, like if, if you told me that fucking cradle... Yeah, They used yeah, the term yeah, deva yeah, yeah. at some point, I wouldn't be, like, the most surprised yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um... So yeah, it's just interesting. Yeah, I could see that in that series. I don't mm-hmm. think that is a term at all in the series, but yeah, but but it sort of yeah, feels yeah, yeah. you know kind of like it could be. Um, but yeah, um, so so that was just kind of funny. I was like, "Ha, ah, Messiah!" I've been joking yeah. about this whole time, and and she actually like said it. She was like, "The Messiah." Oh, w- one more, one more. I'm doing a quick tangent <gasps> because I need I need my my quick uh, different book series tangent. A tangent on this podcast. <laughs> I, I recently read uh, Sanderson's Reckoner series, and mm. it was so, right, 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 so right. good. And so if you've read his other Cosmere stuff and not his non-Cosmere stuff, it's just as good. It's mm-hmm. great. The Reckoner series was fantastic. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been hearing some about it. Yeah, I it's like a superhero mm-hmm. villain yeah. post-apocalyptic sci-fi thing. Yep. It's, it's fun. Super fun. People with superpowers have fucked everything up yep. somehow. Yep. Um, which reminds me of something that uh, uh, my brother-in-law told me about, which is a series called Worm, I believe. It's like a online thing. It was like a, a like not a web comic, but like a web series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like a video thing, but like a written thing. Like it was maybe like a blog or something. But like it's about like people with superpowers and stuff but then there's also like another thing going on it's like it's called worm because something something interdimensional worms question mark Got i don't you. know i just know that like my brother-in-law talked about it one time yeah, yeah, yeah. and it sounded interesting but it's like people have like different superpowers and stuff and we're following you know someone and it's really long yeah, and people yeah, yeah. like people like it but it is one of those things where like it's really long yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so people are like it yeah, you know there's some really good stuff in there, but you kind of got to, like, get to it. Yeah. Um, which, which is always interesting to me. Um, which, oh, speaking of which, we should we should listen to, um, 
We should listen to uh, The Adventure Zone sometime. <laughs> yeah. That's that's one that I've wanted to, uh, to mm-hmm. listen to or whatever, but I've never... I actually have one of their comics... I don't know why, yeah. but I just, like, have it. That's funny. Yeah, because, c- like, I know they're making... I don't know how many of those comics that they've ended up, like, making. Yeah. See, like... Here's the thing. Sarah Zed, whom I love, uh, love her videos yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. but she made a video on the McElroys at one point that I thought was kind of odd, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't think I saw that video, but I saw that she had made it. Yeah, because she's, like, sort of, like, the rise and fall of the McElroys, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, have the McElroys fallen right, per se? right like you know maybe in a sense of like you know fell off like not as good or whatever yeah like i could i could see you making that argument like and and i don't know like their numbers or whatever but i'm like i don't know they're still yeah <laughs> they're still yeah, around yeah, and yeah. existing and and but but specifically the the specific thing is that she talked about like the first adventure zone um playthrough the first yeah. like campaign they did versus the second one and that the first one was like really good and then the second one was like good but then ended in a way that was very similar to the first one that like it Mm. ended up being that like oh the big bad thing in the second one was very similar to what the big bad thing in the first one was got you and i can see that but also i'm like i i think that the second one the second campaign was better overall got you like i feel like the first one starts kind of weak, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, At least in terms of, like, the stuff that I end up wanting out of it. Yeah. Like, going back to the beginning is a like, little rough. It's, like, pre, like, Critical Role with, I like... I think so, it's yeah. Because, like, it's, it's one of the, like, really early, like, actual plays. Like, we're like, probably, like, the earliest. I mean, like, genuinely, I genuinely, like, Griffin had, like, an early copy of Lost Minds of Fandelver, which is, like, the intro campaign to 5e. Got you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Five E was like new, new. When they, yeah. Because like you know Griffin worked at Polygon, and so like he, right. You know, got this kind of stuff, and so like they were doing Lost Minds of Fandelver, and then they just once that was done, continued it. Yeah, Because yeah, like yeah. they just like, oh, we're doing an episode of My Brother, My Brother and Me where we're playing D and D because right. because some other shit was going on or something. And then people yeah. liked it, and so then it spun off to be its own thing. And then once they were, like, done with Lost Minds, Griffin was like, all right, I'm making it, like, its own thing. And so, like, the first sort of... Because, like, the first campaign is, like, kind of, like, these, like, episodic little, like... Yeah. Y- you know, we're doing Lost Minds, and then it's, like, uh, we we sort of get going with, like, the main plot. But it's, like... Yeah, your adventurer is working for this thing. Go, go here and do this thing. Yeah, and then you're done and you come back home. Now go here and do this thing. Yeah. So it's like kind of episodic, but it's not like you know only one episode would be like a few episodes yep. of them doing this like these little like arcs, and then eventually, and then eventually we get this whole big thing that wraps everything yeah, together yeah, and it's yeah. so nice and like that shit is great. But some of those early arcs yeah. I find yeah, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. a little rough because. Because they're just, like, being assholes to the NPCs and stuff. Yeah, they're just going yeah, around, yeah, like, yeah. being annoying to NPCs in, in a way that, like, later they sort of, like... There's still a bit of that, but it's just sort of, like, you know, like, taking the sort of roleplay a bit more seriously, yep. in a yeah, sense, yeah, you yeah. know? And in the second campaign, they're sort of trying to do that a bit more from the start, I feel. And then also... And then also, like... Griffin was trying. Yeah. He was trying so hard to be like, guys, there's like a mysterious thing and like maybe there's more to what's going on than yeah. you think. And they just weren't. They just weren't. So it's like, so it kind of feels like, and then this other thing kind of comes out of nowhere. And this is the reason why all this yeah. stuff is happening. It's like Griffin was really trying, trying to like make them get there. Yep. Like earlier but it just didn't happen and and you know it's, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like they are like they have said in the past that they have like re-recorded episodes if they didn't feel like they were good yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever but it's like they are playing D D, yep. and sometimes it works out that yep. way and then and then travis did a campaign and no one liked it <laughs> which was unfortunate yeah um and, and and that's sort of like the thing that she kind of is like and here's where it kind of like starts to die yeah, yeah and i'm yeah. like Maybe. Sure. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, 
you know, there's criticisms to be had of the McElroys, and the McElroys are aware of them and yeah. have yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, I always think about McElroy being like, you know, as people who have been criticized for, you know, sort of the whole parasocial, you know, calling people yeah. friends, you get, you know, like, so maybe we should try and, you know, not do whatever thing. You know, you need to distance yourself from doing whatever yeah. thing. It's like, they're aware that they've been a little bit like, we're, we're, we're super friendly and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, like, the audience in a way that, like, you know. It's also, like, earlier internet, it, mm-hmm. it's, it's just, the boundaries were different. They were. Yeah. It's, like, a lot of this stuff is stuff that we have learned over time. <laughs> right. Like, and it's, like... It was so common for, mm-hmm. like, there's so many different people to just have, like, group chats and, mm-hmm. like, phone, like, like snapchat like mm-hmm. they would like people would give out their snapchat and and stuff like that like yep yep uh, you know or like that's that's even later than right that but like right no it, it's 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 very interesting just like how it's and, and like you know and it's something that we sort of think about now as people who are now like yep. trying to make things on the internet where i'm yeah, like yeah. not telling you who i am yep. yeah, yeah, yeah and things like that like like literally in an episode i cut something out yeah. that's super innocuous but i, I was like yeah no because <laughs> it was just a little <laughs> thing where i was talking about like i didn't because it was in the episode where i was talking about um where we were talking about how i went to school with right uh what's his fuck yep yeah, uh cole yes cola brand yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and like i i cut out just a tiny little thing because i'm like <laughs> Yeah. Like, it wasn't even super, like, identifying, but I'm just, like, uh, you know, I, I talked about a thing that I did, and I was, like, well, like, there was very few people... I think I know, I think I know what you're talking about. ...who actually did that at the school. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it's, like, if you knew that I did this thing, then you could look up who was doing that thing and know that it's, like... Yeah, yeah, ...one yeah, of yeah. these, like, small handful of people, which is still, like, not a lot. Yep. But I'm just, like... I think about these things because I'm like, people can get so crazy. I've seen so much, so much crazy, crazy shit online where they, yeah. <laughs> because, because you can't assume that like the shit that you put on the internet is gonna get big yep. and that you're gonna yeah, get a bunch yeah, yeah. of numbers on it. But you also can't assume that oh that no, no one's, one's ever gonna ever yep. gonna see this, yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like you are putting it out publicly, <laughs> right? Because like you know, I, I just like imagine that like. I don't know, someone is trying to, like, reach out to everyone who's ever talked about uh, Cola Brandt ever because yeah. they're yeah, making yeah, yeah. a fucking video essay or yeah. some shit, and they happen across this tiny little podcast, and they're like, hey, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's yeah. just like... They just, see it, like, mentioned in the transcript or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just random shit, you know? It's like, you never know when yeah. you're going to say something or do something that everyone's suddenly just going to, like, latch on to. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is all super... Like we, we super unrelated, but it's you know <laughs> we've given one note about <laughs> about about um this chapter. Yep. So let's go back to chapter forty nine. Yes. Of Well of Ascension. Yes. The the very beginning. Um, Tyndall doesn't join them. Is yep. Essentially, the point yep. is that like they argue. Tyndall's yep. like, I'm not joining you. Fine. Yep. They leave. Yeah. She's 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 like mad. She, she wants him to like be there for his people, basically, and mm-hmm. they have a whole kind of argument about it yeah um and then my next note is i like Arian's banter with vin yeah um which i was having a hard time reading banter there i was like (laughs) hante (laughs) because my r was hardly there and my b almost was like an h um but yeah Arian's there because uh we know that like what's his fuck was saying to try and get her out yep yeah yeah breeze Uh, breeze i can't remember anything today (laughs) um but yeah it's like breeze wanted to get her out and so Arian's there with with them and she's like it's like (laughs) oh but we're so close and it's like (laughs) Arian, we went shopping (laughs) once Once. it's like yes i thought that we really bonded (laughs) we're like sisters and you're the boring older sister (laughs) and it's just like actually i kind of like (laughs) Arian. she's She's fun. She's great. It it was just like it was just such a fun because it's like we hardly see her yeah. in any capacity except fawning over Breeze. Yep. Like yep. up until this point, so seeing her just kind of like 
and like she had a little bit of interaction during the shopping, but not like a, a yep. whole bunch of that's not really what it was about. And this isn't what it's like about either, but like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fun having this little <laughs> this little interaction. <laughs> uh yeah, uh clubs and says that argue about religion yep. is is oh wait, that was not my next thing actually. I skipped some some notes. Um they flee. Yeah. Whew, they're they are pursued by some people before before they leave i, I just want to mention like vin basically talk uh reassuring people she's like we'll be back or whatever because mm-hmm. it's a whole thing of like the people seeing them right like right, leaving right. and they're like the king is leaving and you know like, yeah, it's like oh we'll, we'll yeah, be back we're, getting, and also, we're going for help we're going or, for help yeah, 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 yeah that's right that's right that's right um and so then and so then they flee yeah and then they're chased and they escape yes. she like makes a bunch of dust fly up yep and um once they're safe orian fucking leaves yep. she just leaves <laughs> he's like all right thanks and then just yep. goes off the other direction at first she like kind of manipulates them into just like letting her just like tag along and then mm-hmm. she like immediately fucks off yep and then she's like all right bye <laughs> and i'm like you know what good for you orian i guess and then clubs and says that argue about religion yes yeah uh, i don't quite remember the exact nature of it but it's like you know, clubs is like, oh, you know, every you believe in everything you believe in is situational. You know, it's like you don't really like believe in any one thing. And yeah. then also like talking about like the, the religions and like it's sort of being based on nothing or whatever. Yep. Yeah. So like talking about like the Church of the Survivor and everything, well, right, like, right, all right. that, and it's like, um, uh, clubs is like calling it nonsense. Yeah. And uh, it's not nonsense, Lord Cladden. Uh, it's faith. Do you honestly think that Kelsier is going to protect these people? Says it wavered. They believe it, and that is, no. Clubs interrupted scowling. That isn't enough. <laughs> these people fool themselves by by believing in the survivor. You believed in him. You followed him. And so then it's just kind of... Right, yeah. because, yes, because I did want to talk about this, because it's like, yeah, you believed in him in a very different capacity. Yes. Yes. Right? And, like, this, this is sort of like... I, I, I like the, their sort of talks and their arguments, but there's always sort of like the arguments that you would make yeah. and then like yeah, wanting yeah, yeah. them to be made where it's like, okay, yes, he believed in him, but in a very different capacity. Yeah. Right. Because this is faith based belief, not yes. evidence based belief. Yeah. Like he believed in him on the evidence of this is a man who, he, who I know exists and physically that I have interacted with and that I have worked with right. several times. Yep. And there's the one time that it really fucking didn't work, yep. but every other time it did. It, yeah. And so it's like, you know, there, there's a little bit, so, so there's a little bit more behind it yes. in that sense, right? It's like, you know, Kelsier did do these things for these people, but yep. also he lied to them. Yeah. Like he intentionally deceived them using this whole or sir gambit yep. and stuff like that. So it's like, it is a belief that is quite literally built on false pretenses. Yeah. You know, while clubs's belief in him was a belief in him and like he believed in his ability to create a plan that would work yep, yep. not For in a his tangible like <laughs> thing yeah I, I believed in a specific tangible thing that he could do i did not believe in him yes. in this like spiritual sense of like how one believes in god yeah like yeah i believe that he existed but now he's dead and yeah. i don't believe in him anymore in the sense of like He's not there. Yep. He's not doing anything. He's not interacting with us and, like, yep. you know. It, it, it's just, like, it's a very different kind of belief. Although we use the same word belief, right. they're being used differently and in different ways here. And it's and, that, and that's important. And, and important. This isn't just, like, oh, semantics. No, no, yes. no. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. semantics are important because belief is being used in two different ways here. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just, like, this is, this is an important part of it and yeah. and then you know as things go on i'm so curious to see where things go with Saza yeah. because like not to get into what happens in the later chapters but like i i Saza's in a very interesting place right now yeah. from my perspective i'm like this is I, I i'm really happy that we're exploring this stuff oh, yeah. with Saza, but i'm very curious as to where it's going to go considering i know that like you know he, uh Sanderson? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Considering that Sanderson is a man of faith and I am not. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. where this is sort of going to end up because it might end up in sort of a different place than where I would yep. <laughs> sort of take it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, so I'm, I'm glad that you had some of that 
stuff because I did want to yes. talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Straff seems to be dying, question mark? Yes. Uh, yeah, he's just, like, chilling and dying. <laughs> he's like, why, why do I feel like I'm dying? He, like, came here and he didn't kill me. He's like, oh, yeah, yep. Zane came here yeah, and he didn't yeah. kill me and he went off, like... That's crazy. And he's like, why do I feel like I'm dying? Yep. Oh, no. Yep. Um, and, oh, yeah, and then late 20s equals old is a note that I have. Because yeah. he, like, calls yeah. for, for, his, for his mistress again. Yeah, for Amaranta. For Amaranta. Uh, and, uh, and, and then I had the note, I bet she's poisoning. I have, I bet she's poisoning her, which is <laughs> not correct. I bet she's poisoning him. And then she got him addicted to something yep. and had a whole plan with Zane and everything. Yep. I, straight up was just like... Just got Zane to, like, <clears throat> fake poisoning him. Yeah, because I, I thought that the whole him... Because, po- like, when that first happened, I'm like, this feels Why? so yeah. kind of, like, goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the way that it's, like, this feels like a, like, almost like, you know... A Tumblr villain yeah, yeah, post yeah. where someone's, like... You know, like, oh... Uh, trying to kill each other every trying, day, you know, like, that dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, and I it feels you. sort of, like, cartoony in that way, which yeah. is which is fine in the appropriate sort of, like, setting. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. here I'm like, he does this all the time and you just let him? <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, he's super, like, important. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like, but also, like, Zane, you're over here, like, trying to kill him, but then you're but also, not? like... But then yeah. you're also like, oh, I can't kill him and whatnot. So it's like, what? That's weird. I always thought that was kind of weird. And then it's like, oh, yeah, no, it is because she was poisoning him this whole time, and yep. he's just taking the blame. Yep. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> it's like that, and that, and that's 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 fun. I'm yep. like, oh, it, I I wasn't expecting that to sort of come around in that way, and then yep. it did. And I'm like, oh, that, that's actually kind <laughs> of like, yeah, that makes sense. That, that actually kind of makes sense. That's fun. And and it's like, you know. She she's like making a thing, and he's yep. like, she's not doing it yep, like right. You're adding too much or whatever. Yeah, it's <laughs> like you know th- these aren't the same whatevers. And then yep. he, he fucking like kills her. Yep. Yeah, he kills her. I think he strangles her. Yeah, I, I I think I think technically it's left kind of ambiguous here at the end, like how things go. No, I think he does like kill her, and then he it's ambiguous as to whether or not he survives because he's like then just like throws yes. a bunch of shit together and yeah, drinks it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then fucking passes out. Um, and I was like, oh shit, is he just fucking dead? Yep. Um, and Yeah, because then he, like, mixed some stuff, like, himself. Yeah. He's just mixing shit together, <laughs> like, I think this was it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you know, some things in a little bit will be, can heal you, but then too much, it'll poison you. Yep. And you gotta, you know, he's like, fucking, <laughs> I just gotta try. And it's wild. Um... And so that's that's the end of chapter forty nine. Yep. Right. And so then we move on to chapter fifty, uh, where my first note is Quan doesn't want Alendi to give the power up question mark, um, which was maybe a response yep, to the to epigraph. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, huh? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's like what? <laughs> uh, and and then Arian went to her father's army. She like rioted some like bandits that yep. she came across and convinced them to give her over to set yep and it's like you ransoms know. are usually bigger than rewards <laughs> yep ransoms are usually bigger than rewards we need them to, to not think about that right now yeah. <laughs> since rioting them um she's actually trying to help breeze didn't expect that is my note so she's actually like no we got to go and help them and yep. you know trying to like save breeze and i'm like oh i was yeah like when she fucked off i was like like, oh, she's just doing her own, I don't she's know. She's just like, nope, just like, all right, bye, lol. <laughs> she's like, no, Breeze sent me out for a reason, and I'm fucking, yep, I'm, and, I'm gonna get some help then. Yep, and I'm like, oh, that's actually, that's actually nice. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then my next note is, Vin's hair is slightly curled. <laughs> it's just, every now and then they just drop a yeah. bit of, like, physical description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, because cause I feel like they don't spend a lot of time on physical description no not really and so every now and then you'll just get like a little tidbit like that and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah and then i have the note vin sleeps naked now but not then yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Be- because because we had like made some comment about that and how it's funny that like she's like 
naked with like her knives when Tyndall comes in and then it turns out that's not the case yeah, yeah, and in fact yeah. she's like she's like could you imagine if you got attacked and I'd have to fight naked or whatever and and he's like I think it's like I, I'd be I'd be down for that and I'm like you know what Ellen you're right <laughs> Ellen you are correct um yeah because they're at camp yeah um horses don't like me because I'm faster than them <laughs> Vin <laughs> Vin's um yeah, it's like Vin is less comfortable on a horse. Yes. Than Ellen is, and and she's like, yeah, <laughs> she has some line about horses are uncomfortable around her because they know that she's faster. Yeah, than they are. I'm not afraid of them. They just don't like me. They know I can outrun them, outrun them, and that makes them surly. Yep, and <laughs> just thought that was funny. Horses don't like me because I'm faster than them. <laughs> uh, yeah, Vin, Vin's being pensive and looking south. Which she'd been looking north the whole time. <sighs> the, I tried to. I tried to. I, know. I tried to point it out. No, you did, but it's just it. I. No, I know. Because it's like they just assume that it's in Terrace, yep. and Terrace is in the north. Yeah, and then they just go with that assumption the entire time, and then them. they just keep saying she looks north towards you, whatever you know. Like, right, and and so then whenever it's like, oh, there's another direction to it, I'm just like. But like no, you know it's 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 a fucking it's it's a Lord Ruler logbook situation. We yep. just assume that it belongs to the Lord Ruler the whole time. He does that shit. He always does that shit. Yep. Sanderson, you gotta look out for it. Like what? What am I just assuming? Sort of, which is such an which is such a, like an interesting thing in terms of like someone who like religion. Yeah. And this thing is like, what are we just assuming uncritically? Yep. Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah. because we just well of course it's this way and we just yep. make these like assumptions without like critically like examining them and I feel like that's such an interesting it's thing for him to like play with in like a literary way yep um yeah cause... I've been reading the preview chapters for Stormlight Five and it's it's absolutely how I feel I'm like questioning everything and every but every two chapters that gets put out or whatever mm-hmm. it's like okay question everything <laughs> yeah it's just like as soon as she's like being pensive and looking south i'm like the fucking well of ascension's back in luthadel like yep. it's yep. just and, and and she and she talks in here at one point i know that we talked about this at some point in the past and then we're, we're brought up here she feels the pulses with bronze, yes. but now they're so strong that she that feels, she feels them, them even without yes. it, which is interesting. Yes. Because, like, what the fuck does that mean? But, anyway. Yeah. Um, and that seemed to have been the case with Olendi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, like, yeah, because he... Or starts, did, he, did he use bronze before? I mean, it was never said whether It was never he... said. I'd, like, it seemed like... Because that was the whole thing. It was, like, but, like, he could feel the pulses, but now it's, like, even without bronze, she can feel them. Right. And so, so did like, Alamancy exist then or whatever? Yeah. Like, did he... Like, I, I almost wonder, it's, like, did he just, like... Was he sort of like an alamancer who just, like, hadn't snapped, essentially? Yeah. yeah but yeah. also, you'd think that, like, if he's Rand, he would have snapped at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know that Alindy was ever, <laughs> um, spoilers, put in a box for several days. <laughs> we probably shouldn't. Um, you know, uh... Unspoilers, <laughs> but like, there's plenty of stuff that happened to Rand that would make someone snap, <laughs> and and we don't know if that happened to Elendi too. But you know, um, but yes, uh, talk to your husband. That's my next note because she's being pensive and looking south. Yes, and Ellen's like, "Hey, what's up?" And she's like, "Nothing." And I'm like, "Talk to your husband." <laughs> You guys need to fucking talk to each other, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Vin. <laughs> you need to talk. <laughs> like, he's he's your fucking husband now. You fucking yeah. got married, you did the thing, you've committed, and I get you can't just, like, fully change overnight, but, like, you're moving away from, from the, the pulses yeah. now, yeah. and you're like, maybe that's a fucking sign. <laughs> Maybe you should immediately be like, you know, I think uh, uh, this is a bit uh, weird. It's like, so, so like, I know that we did this whole thing to go north, but now that we're actually moving away, the pulses are coming from there. <laughs> I couldn't feel a direction from them because yep. we were essentially just right, right on, on top, top of, of them before. Yup. Oh <laughs> uh, man, yeah. Um, so I like Spook and Ellen to talking. Yeah. They talk a little bit. I don't even remember what they say, (laughs) 
but it's just sort of like, oh yeah, there's like some people following us and and whatnot, and Spook Spook is saying, yeah, he's talking a bit about feeling kind of useless and powerless because, yes. like, as a like Ten Eye, he's kind mm-hmm. of more of a scout, right? Yeah, and Spook is saying his his things about that, yeah, and and being all mopey and stuff, yeah, and then Vin says uh, that she sees the mist spirit mm-hmm. is chasing us. Yep, I I think my next note is followed by Miss Spirit. And then Straff's been out three days. Yeah. Straff knocked himself out for three days with his fucking potion. Yep. (laughs) Potion of knock yourself out for three days. (laughs) And not die. And not die. (laughs) Uh, Fuck Straff is my next one. I don't know if he did anything particular or just the fact that he lived. (laughs) (laughs) But fuck Straff is just kind of an evergreen statement. Yep. Um, and then I have a note. If emotional elements, he can control Chandra. Can it control Coloss? Got you. That, that, that's when I wrote that note. Got you. Yeah. Um, and then my next thing is power of thought attribute. So that's when we're like in Seiza's whole thing. Gotcha, gotcha. But, but, but I believe that Straff like wakes up and he's got his like people there. Yeah. And they're like, oh, and it's like, why didn't you kill me? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) they're like, what? what? <laughs> he's like, oh, right, Z- they think Zane's still around, so mm-hmm. they're afraid of Zane. Yeah, which is so interesting, because it's also, like, Straff is interesting, because we get, like, this, when we're in his perspective, we get, like, to see some of the people around him a bit more. Yeah. And, like, I get this impression that they're just, like, like, like when he's like, why didn't you kill me? And they're like, what? It's just, like, it just doesn't occur to yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would, you're, you're the guy in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But Straff's just, like, so... So paranoid. So paranoid, and also, he would do that. Yep. Like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, of course Straff is paranoid about that, because that's what he'd do. Yep. <laughs> you know? Um, he's like, of course they want to kill me. Yep. <laughs> um, but also, see, here's the thing, right? Um, because Straff is, like, addicted to this thing, whatever it is, like, it's not, like, super explained, the, the nature of it, but it is funny to just imagine... Oh, this is why Straff is the way he is. He's been on cocaine this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially, because I feel like that's especially true in these, like, next few chapters. Yeah. There, there's a certain, like, he has... He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he has a certain, like, manic energy about yep. him now that he's, like, found the thing that he's addicted to yep. and, like, taking it intentionally. Yes. He's like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he's real fucking... <laughs> and Shaf's just, like, fucking coked out of his mind <laughs> while Zane runs everything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, this was never gonna work, my guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. I think you might have said fuck Straff because he was... Deciding to like pull out and let the coloss. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was, I was gonna mention that that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, he, he, he does the plan, and the guy's like, oh, good, good plan, or whatever. I'm like, fuck you. He's like, yeah, yes, yeah, I figured yeah, it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Zane's the one who fucking figured it out. Um, and uh, and and so then um, I have my thought about like because they're talking about the coloss and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm like, can the coloss be controlled in the same way? that the Condor controlled. And that's when I had that thought. Um, uh, and then power of thought attribute, because we end up with say Uh, we end up with say and he's like, uh, storing like all of his attributes. Yes. He's got like 10 rings on yeah. that he's like storing like all of his attributes in essentially. And one of them is power of thought. Yeah. Which is in gold. Maybe. No, health is gold. I was having a hard time figuring out what each one was. Because bronze is wakefulness, makes you sleep longer so that you can sleep less later. Um, and then uh, Penrod tried to let people escape, but they all got killed. And Store's mental speed should be zinc. Zinc? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like he's he's eating soup and talking to someone. He's like, it's harder for him to like... Think. think yeah and it's harder for him to like move and yep. do anything because he's like storing all of his attributes at once essentially in in preparation for this coming battle yeah. and like including health yeah so like he's also like kind of sick including yeah. vision he can't see very well his hearing yeah. is is less and and just like his smell and taste yeah. and whatnot yeah so uh because oh yeah, i think like clubs is there 
I think he's like talking to clubs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I like Penrod was trying to let some people escape, but then they would end up getting killed. Tried to make a deal with Jasties, but that yeah. didn't go anywhere. It would seem. Um, and and uh, Seiza pitches clubs a religion, one that focuses on like natural beauty or that focuses on like beauty and that and artists like it, it's a religion that like values artists above priests and yeah. is and all that sort of stuff and he's like why would you suggest that for me and it's like because it's like you, you it's like you know it's not one for like a soldier and it's like yeah you're you're made to be a soldier but you're you're a woodworker you're an artist yes. yeah you know yeah. other people saw it as a cover but i saw you you cared, cared. Yeah. about the the wood carving the woodworking the artistry of it and so i think that this would be a good one for you and give some like this like wooden like amulet or something yeah it's like carved wooden thing like a symbol of of this god yeah uh i think they give like a name for it but i don't remember dead rat dead uh dead dead i don't know (laughs) yeah yeah okay because like i'm sure they like because like they said in the audiobook but i don't remember how it was pronounced um and uh, and then yeah, what did happen to Marsh? Is my next note because <laughs> he's thinking about Marsh. Yes. And it's like, what whatever happened to Marsh? He just kind of fucked off. He just kind of disappeared. And and I'm like, yeah, what did happen to yep. Marsh? And oh boy, we we certainly find out what happened to Marsh later. Um, Ten stores senses gold. See, I got gold and zinc mixed up. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold uh, stores health. Yeah, gold stores health, zinc stores thought, yeah. like power of thought, pewter strength, which makes sense. Um, yeah. Tyndall wants to talk, says it is nervous, uh, says it reminisces. Those are my notes, which are very super helpful. Thank you, past <laughs> me. Um, but yeah, Tyndall wants to talk and like says it like comes to go talk and it's like there with like. It's like Dachshund, Dachshund and his folks. Yeah. Yeah, Dachshund and others are looking at Marsh's map. That's yeah. right. Right, yeah. They're, they're looking over, like, Marsh's map of Luthadel, and, like, it had, like, the soothing stations and yeah. stuff, and so they're trying to, like, plan. And so it says it's kind of, like, reminiscing about some stuff. I don't remember what specifically. Whoa. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so it's, like, Dachshund and others are, like, these ska scribes. Yeah. Dachshund specifically trained up some scribes who are ska, not noble. Yeah. To, like, do work with. Um, and, uh, and Dachshund is doing shit, love to see it, always want more Dachshund. Yep. Uh, he's making plans, he's like, listen, here's what we gotta do for this, like, coming battle. He's like, I don't trust these, like, nobles that we have in charge, so I want yep. a crew member at, like, each of the gates, uh, for each crew member, send them to a gate to, like, be, like, a secondary kind of, yep. like, leader there. Uh, so as a bringing his senses back for the hug is very cute because he like talks with Tyndall. yeah because it's like why is Tyndall here <laughs> you were supposed to leave yeah yeah but she stayed and then they have a hug and he like stops storing his senses so that he can like fully appreciate yeah. the hug which is very sweet it's such a cute little moment when he's like they have a nice little hug um because she's like i love you and that's why i'm not leaving yeah which is <laughs> that's, yeah. That's everything that I have for chapter fifty. Yeah. Anything else worth mentioning? No, there's just some more of those conversations and stuff. But I think we talked about the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm trying to. Because like I feel like there was maybe some stuff with like Dachshund and says it and like they're talking, but I don't know. I think just sort of like. Yeah. The general sort of, like, Dachshund and his feelings on, like, the nobles and yeah. whatnot. Which is always just, like, fun and interesting. Because it's like, I don't, you know, it's like, I don't trust them. And it's yeah. like, well, they're, they're used to, like, leading. And it's like, yeah, well, <laughs> still. Yeah. You know, they're not used to, like, war, war. and yeah. fighting yeah, and yeah, these yeah, sorts yeah. of things. Um, but, yeah. I just, I just always love to see more Dachshund, which yeah. is, you know. Uh, and that's the end of chapter 50. Alright, chapter 51. The mist is different. Yep. Each each day, the sun comes up, and it takes a bit longer yep. for, like, for to, uh, dissipate to the dis- mist yep. and all that sort of stuff. Uh, they've got to go back. The thumping was coming from Luthadel. Yeah. That's why the Lord Ruler made Luthadel there. <laughs> is, is, uh, uh, when I made that officially a no to my book. Yep. 
Uh, so why so why was Vin always looking north? Was was it just because in the logbook uh, they were headed to Terrace and the north? That's yeah. Um, Miss Spirit over Elland. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has like a knife or something. Yep. Uh, and hateful eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I have yeah. So she goes and like stops it. Yep. Yeah, she like attacks it, and they. Mm-hmm. And then it disappears. Yep. Uh, Spook and Vin talk. What's going on with Spook? Uh, those are my notes. Or just Spook and Vin, and then what's going on with, with Spook. Because they're talking, and he's talking about being a coward and feeling useless. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Coloss are coming, is my next note. Uh, most Coloss aren't affected by arrows. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> and then I have... Vin attacks the people following them. Um, so, so I think with that, so we've been sort of cutting back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah. we cut back to sort of the uh, to Luthadel, and they're like shooting arrows at the Coloss. Or it's like, oh yeah, because like the Coloss are coming. That's that's because right. So they see that the Coloss are like fighting each other right. in in the distance, and they're getting themselves worked up into like a frenzy, yeah. and then they're gonna come attack, and they start coming this way, and so they're like, uh oh. We gotta start yep. getting ready, and I think they talk about how, like, most Coloss aren't affected by arrows. It's like, they shoot arrows at them, but they just kind of, like, um, don't do not do much to, to yep. sort of dissuade them. Um, and then, when we cut back to the camp... Yeah. Uh, arrows seem to have little effect on the Coloss. Mm-hmm. Um, it seemed they just, like, bounced off, mostly. Yeah, because of their, like, tough skin, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, and then we cut back to camp. And Vin attacks the people following them because they've been being followed. And, like, I think Spook was talking about that. That they were like, yeah, there have been some, like, folks following us. And so she attacks them and it's fucking Jasty. Yeah. <laughs> Jasty's fled the Coloss. And he's, like, there with Ellen. And, and Ellen's like, you you just, like, left them? You just let the fucking Coloss run wild? And, and you didn't do anything about it? What you looking for? Where you're at. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, Jastis is there talking to Ellen, and then, El- and he's like, can you forgive me, Ellen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Ellen's like, it's like, yes, Jastis, I forgive you, and then cuts his head off. Yep. <laughs> he fucking executes him. Yep, yeah, he's like, you brought them there, and then left them, and, mm-hmm. yep. Yep, and it's like, fuck you. Yep. Which, which you said that, like... Uh, was it like nerdy was like yeah nerdy was i was like kind of surprised nerdy was super not mm-hmm. not a fan of this yeah um he he felt like it was an overreaction and mm-hmm. like uh it it didn't seem mm-hmm. like appropriate yeah yeah it, it definitely surprised me yeah, yeah, yeah when it happened but like it, it, it's like, I get it, I get why it sort of feels that way, but it's also, I feel like, it's, you know, sort of meant to be this kind of symbolic moment for Ellen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Nerdy was kind of being like, well, like, Jastis was, like, basically how you would be if you mm-hmm. didn't have, like, Vin and the crew to, like, make your, mm-hmm. like... Shit work. Yeah, you, the, the vision that you, that you saw, whatever, like, mm-hmm. happen, or whatever. It was kind of his... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This type of thing. But also, I don't think Ellen would have taken an army of Coloss into it. You know, like... <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Like, like, <laughs> like, Jastis isn't what Ellen would have become without the crew. He would have just been dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, he wouldn't have run like Jastis did. He would have just gotten killed with the rest of them. Yeah, yeah. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. It, it, as far as as far as I'm concerned, that that feels more sort of in character with with Ellen than than the sort of the rest of it. Yeah, it, it's like without the crew and people there to like make his plan work, he would have just been dead. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. he would have tried to do the right thing. Yeah, everyone around him would have died, and then yeah. he would have died. Yeah, like and that's basically what happened with Jastis, which I think is why he was kind of right. Cause but like he tried to do like Ellen's whole thing, and then was betrayed. Like basically everyone died, and then he like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just think that he wouldn't have fled and done the whole call exactly. gambit. Exactly. And so it's like Ellen's like, you know. Yeah. You put more people mm-hmm. like in danger yeah. and and stuff because you wanted mm-hmm. power at that point. You know, yeah. it's it's done it's mm-hmm. done with the like 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's like all you did was recklessly endanger a bunch of people. Right. You know, it's like you, like the people who the Coloss attacked along the way to get here. Yep. And then Luthadel itself. Yeah. And like, and then you fled and you didn't even like go with them. You didn't, you're not like leading them. You're not try- like, you're just like. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and, barely and, controlled them. And then they saw Luthadel and then just wouldn't leave. Yep. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, like, you should know that you had no control over them because they steamrolled over multiple places on the way there. Yeah, you know, it's the whole thing where it's, like, Ellen told you yep. earlier, like, it's like, don't yep. do this. All this like, yep. It, like, the thing is that Jassy's had every opportunity not to do this. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He did have plenty of chances. It's like, he, he could have not done this. He could have worked with Ellen. Yep. He could have done so many other things. But he was self doing this yep. like so because also it's like back because here's the thing he's like oh I tried to do the things it, said Ellen but also like back in the day I remember that Jasty still sucked yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. I was like he was still weird about the ska that yeah. was like yeah, a, yeah, always yeah. like the thing that I was like I still don't like Jasty's Jasty's is still being weird about Vin got you yeah if there's noises it's the shower. Yep, <laughs> we're, we're, we're literally, like, the next room over is yeah. the bathroom, so. No, we're just doing the podcast in the shower, that's why there's shower noises. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone's done it, although this would be an audio nightmare. Right. <laughs> to try and do it in the shower. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it, it's just that, like, Jasty's and Ellen, like, Jasty's was still shitty about the ska yeah. back in the day, and, like, He's still, you know, it, it's the whole thing of like philosophy and like political theory and this idea of like, you know, you know, it's like who, it's like oh, you claim to be sort of like this thing, but then yeah. like when shit actually hits the fan, do you hold to those ideals or do you become? Yep. You know, it's like Jasty's when when things went bad and when he got betrayed and all yep. that sort of stuff, it was super horrible. But then he basically flips and just sort of yep. becomes exactly like all the shitty other things in the empire and and so then it's like yeah you know it, and, and it's not like Jastis is the only one who's going to be getting this treatment yep yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we haven't gotten there yep. yet <laughs> but like it's not like Jastis is the only one who's about to be getting this fucking treatment yep. you know it's uh anyway so, so it's like when it happened I was like, holy shit, but yep. I'm also like, yeah, no, fuck Jasties. Yep. Like, Jasties fucked shit up so badly. Yeah. Like, he really, he really did. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't, I don't feel bad for Jasties, yep. yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I felt bad for him before, yep. in, in some sense, but also I don't feel bad for, like, the shit. It's like, yeah, you fucking, <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, he, he just let loose a it's bunch like of a, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, unstoppable killing machines yep. in, in, a, in a largely populated area, you know? He, he just a little, he just made a little oopsie whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's yep. like, no. Like, yes, killing him in this moment isn't gonna fucking fix anything, right. but also it's like, we can't trust this motherfucker. Right. We just can't trust this motherfucker. Yeah, it's you know? gonna just be a, be an issue. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, I mean, it's like, no, you've proven yourself, like, like when, because back when you had something and, like, you know, it's like, back when we both had something, Yeah. you know, we could have worked together to, like, try and make, but no, you wanted to do your bullshit, yep. and you wouldn't listen, and now that everything's fucking gone to shit for you, you're like, oh, please, please help me, and expecting, like, you know, yep. I don't know, it's just like, you've, you just put the whole city at risk, yeah. you've just, like, endangered the whole city, yep. like, and we're about to see... Yep. The direct aftermath of that. Like, th- like these next couple chapters are about to be, spoilers, Coloss come and fuck up the city. What'd yep. you think? <laughs> you, you know, Coloss attack the city, and it's not exactly... And it's, not, it's not a fun time. It's not exactly a fun fucking time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I he, he, See, my... And this isn't really spoilers for Game of Thrones, because this thing that happens, like... Right at the beginning, yeah. He do, he he pulls a Ned Stark on him. He's yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. there's a the whole thing in the very beginning yeah. of Game of Thrones where Ned Stark right. executes a criminal, and he does it himself, and he has the kids there because yep. he's like, you know, if you're gonna be enacting justice, if you're gonna be upholding some sort of sense of justice, you got to yep. do it yourself. Yeah. 
Like, not in the sense of it's like you can only trust yourself, but in the sense of you have to be able take to... Take the responsibility. Take the responsibility. You have to look at the person... And know that you... Yeah. That, like, I am the one... Like, not only am I the one who's condemning him to death, but I'm the one who has to, like, go through with yep. you. You can't just get someone else to do it yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, And so it's like, this This kind of reminded me of that moment. Yeah. Um, in, in the way that, like, Ellen's like, no, I have to be the one to do this. Yeah. Um, because, like, if I believe in, you know like protecting the people or whatever yeah. like he's like he's almost like i should have fucking done this yeah back when we were in camp together you yeah. know like i spared your life but then like yep. you know not that it would have really changed much yeah. really because jassy didn't have control of them anyway no but just like <laughs> but yeah it's just like <laughs> old fucking weasel ass yeah. you know um so yeah so so that was something um uh, Ellen fucking decapitates Jastie's. Um, oh, oh yes, and, and then and then and then this note: killing someone causes the knife metaphor to spontaneously appear in your head. It was my next note. What? <laughs> because okay, so so Ellen then goes off, and then Vin goes up to Ellen, and and Ellen's like, you know. I'm like a knife. We're both like knives in this way. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> ah, yes. In the world of Mistborn, yeah, 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 as yeah. soon as you kill someone, the knife metaphor yeah. immediately plants itself <laughs> in your brain. <laughs> I got you. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's like, it's the first man I've ever killed or whatever, and then goes, and he's like, uh, I think I understand, uh, uh, Vin, what it's like for you. In a way, we're both knives, both tools. Uh, not for each other, but for the kingdom, this people. Because I don't, because he's like, I, I, I get you, Vin, we're both knives. And I don't think that Vin had ever said the knife thing to Ellen before. Like, we've had that, like, conversation with Zane, but yeah, I don't know that she's yeah. ever out loud said to Ellen that she's, that she's like, a think, knife. I don't think, I don't. Because Zane's like, oh, you're a knife that he's using. And then, like, I, because she, like, never talks about any of that fucking shit. With right. with Ellen, so like maybe off off page they had some conversation about this. Which if they did, I really would have liked to have fucking seen it yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. because they never talk to each other about these sorts of things. But then as soon as this happens, he goes, "You know, Vin, I understand. We're like knives." <laughs> and, and, and so I'm just like, "Ah, yes." As soon as you kill someone, the knife metaphor simply materializes, fully formed in your brain. Like, ah, I am a knife. <laughs> <laughs> he got it from Zane somehow. <laughs> he, he got it from Zane somehow. They 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 both inherited it from from uh Straff. Oh god. Yeah, and and so I just I just thought that that was funny, <laughs> the knife metaphor. Um yeah, uh it's probably a fucking credit shaw. <laughs> was, uh, that's not my immediate next one. My immediate next one was actually Spook knew about the plan. This yeah. is where we get yeah, the sort of the yeah, thing, because, yeah. like, Spook had been talking about being a coward and stuff, yeah. because he was, like, he went along with the plan for them to, like, escape. Yeah. Because he wanted to live, you know? Um, which is kind of interesting, because it's, like, you could try and make a connection between Spook and Jasties and the whole just trying to live thing, but it's like Spook is helping them yep. escape and is also, this is like a plan. Like, it's like he knows that this plan that they've come up with, you know, they came up with this plan to do like a greater good kind yeah. of thing, like let yeah, them escape yeah. and do their thing, um, which is like. And he goes along with it, and he's like, I'm a coward because I wanted to live. But it's yeah. like, you're, you're also, like, you know, doing something with this. Um, you're not just, like, running away. Right. Because... And, like, if they would have told him to stay, like, he would have stayed mm -hmm. if he wouldn't have been, like, yeah, yeah, sent yeah. on this. You right, know? right, 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 like, exactly. It's not like he would have... Just, like, fucked off on his yeah. own. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so, so yeah, then I was like, it's probably a fucking credit shot. <laughs> Which... <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Uh, Good job. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, and that's uh, that's chapter fifty one. Uh, and so then we're on to chapter fifty two. Unless there's anything else. Um, no, just just them realizing mm -hmm. and yeah, running back. Yep. Yep. Uh, and uh, so yeah, chapter fifty two. Breeze is soothing the soldiers. Yeah, he's like they're at the gate, and he's there looking at these soldiers, and he's like soothing batches of them. But yep. it's like 
he can't soothe all of them, so like he soothes a batch and then another batch, but then like by the time he's soothing the next batch, the first batch is getting nervous again. Yeah. You know. This chapter, when I like first like read it and stuff, it made me cry. Like mm-hmm. listening to the audiobook and stuff. Yeah. Like, I remember the Breeze, it might not be this exact section, but, like, I remember, like, a bit of, like, Breeze, like, soothing a bunch of people, like, in mm-hmm. in this whole bit, and just, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know if it would have been here or not, but, like, I yeah, do... Yeah, no, like, I think it's a little bit later. Yeah, because it's, like, uh, so... Th- and Breeze is always, like, muttering to himself when he does it, he's, like, yeah. you know, like, saying the emotions and stuff, and says, uh, the speaking keeps focus. Yeah. It's like, he doesn't need to do it, but it just helps him focus and stuff, which is something that I like as, like, a thing in magic, where it's, like, because, like, I've had this thought before. It's, like, the the magic doesn't need the ritual. It's just that the ritual yes. helps you focus on yeah. doing the magic, you know? I uh, love getting Breeze's thoughts, because, like, Breeze is thinking about, like, why am I here? How, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, how, how did I end up here? <laughs> Club shows up, uh, and they talk some... And it's like, how how did we end up here? How did yeah. how did things end up like this? How did Kelsier get us to this point? Yeah. Um, and like talking to clubs, he's like, "You've been in combat before. How often?" And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. clubs was talking about it, and mm-hmm. um, Breeze is like, "And how did you do? Were you uh, were you often victorious? Always, of course. We were the ones with the coloss on our side." <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. Which is which is wild. Yeah. Um. And then Breeze did try soothing the Coloss, yes. which is a thought that I had had. But yep. also, it's like, you know, Vin had to, like, really push yep. and use, like, Duralumin and yep. stuff in order to get it to work. Yeah, Breeze is not necessarily, like, strong, like, mm-hmm. like soother. He's a very, like, subtle and, like... Skilled soother. Skilled soother. Right, because, like, there, there is some talk about him being, like, one of the best soothers. Right, right, and stuff. right. But yeah, but, but, it's, but sort it's not of like, necessarily in, like... Yeah, 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 just sort of, like, raw power yeah. in that sort of sense. Um, oh, yeah, Nomads Out in the Barrens. Um, Clubs talks about, like, quashing rebellions yes. and fighting yeah, yeah, yeah. Nomads Out in the Barrens, yeah. which I think is just kind of interesting. Um, little world tidbits. Uh, and then, so Vin Pewter Drags. Yeah. Uh, Vin is running... She's like, I gotta, I gotta get there, yeah. and so she starts pewter dragging her way towards Luthadel, just like running as fast as she can. Uh, yeah, and she's, uh, she let the fury of it guide her. She was mm-hmm. very, very angry. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. They let me abandon them. They forced me to abandon them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, and then I have Breeze and Clubs talk as again, like after that note. Like, that's my next note after Yeah, yeah, because then they talk, because then they talk again before the gates break open. Right, right. Yeah, because I think Breeze talks about, like, how how do you think that, like, you know, it's like, I'm worried that they're all gonna, like, run away, and Club's like, no, when when the time comes, they'll fight. Yeah. Um, Brass stores warmth, because we're with, um, Sazed now. My next note is Brass stores warmth, because we're with, like, Sazed at his gate. Yeah. And he's, like, watching as, like, you know... There's, like, thumping on the doors and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, civilians are here to watch the Coloss get killed. Yep. Because they're like, oh, yeah, you know, Vin's gonna kill him. Vin's not yep. here. It's like, you're gonna kill them then. <laughs> Holy first witness. <laughs> yep, it's, uh, um, please, you must go. If you stay, you'll die. We, will, we are not here to die, first ho- Holy first witness. Uh, we are here to watch the Coloss fall. Oh, my God. Fall? The Lady Air will protect us, said another, wo- another woman. The Lady Air has left the city. Then we will watch you, Holy First Witness. Um, That's why it's... Why call me that name? Yeah, why indeed? You are the one who brought news of the Lord Ruler's death. You gave the Lady Air the spear she used to slay our Lord. Uh, You were the witness to her actions. That may be true, but I'm not worthy of reverence. I'm not a holy man. I'm simply uh, a witness. If the Air is to join this fight, she will appear next to you. I am sorry. I sent her away. I sent your god to safety. Yeah, which is interesting because it's like, it's like how how does that name, which comes from the tablet, something that they know to call him, and and I'm like, oh, now I know why why it is that way. I can now like kind of understand yeah, like yeah, yeah. how that happened. Um, but yeah, uh, says it is the witness from the prophecy. 
Oh yeah, and then I have World War Z ass Colossus because the Colossus are dying uh, at the gate. Yeah. Uh, and the dead are piling yes. up, and the Coloss are climbing out on top of the pile of dead Coloss and then jumping yeah. over, up, up, like up and grabbing the wall and climbing over. Yeah. Which the only thing I know from World War Z is zombies forming a giant pile to get over a yep. wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so is it hulks out? <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> he, he fully fucking, uh, hulks out, uh, with his pewter yep. and his strength. Cause he's been storing up strength for years. Yeah. Because he, like... He doesn't really use, use it. it much. And he's so not much he's, of a warrior. And so he's just been storing up a bunch for years. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Physical strength, yeah, pewter. Yep, and, and so then he fights... He fights the yep. the the coloss, and then say something brave. Yep. <laughs> he's Fight, like, says it bellowed. <laughs> he's like, quick, say something brave, do something cool. <laughs> um, and then my next note is Vin runs out of pewter, so says it's like fighting them off. He's like, fight, and then we cut over to yep. Vin. Vin's pewter dragged herself out, and she sees she's at like a random like little like village essentially and she sees ska just being like happy and living their lives and like this is this is what it's all about but also they're gonna get fucking wrecked yeah by the shit that's about to come uh and so then she's like she and so then we have the whole scene where she like goes to the ska and is like i need pewter and they're like oh you poor child come in from the rain and they're like really like nice to her and and she's like, oh, you know, they're just, like, good, nice people, and I need to, like, save them and stuff. And and they're like, you're the you're the Lady Air, and we've heard about your shit from others. And she's like, I need some shit. <laughs> and it's like, you know, even if they had any, like, pewter to give her... It would be, like, mixed with weird with Yeah, the it wouldn't be, like, alimantic grade pewter, yeah. and also, like... You know, it'd be, like, in big chunks that she'd have to, like, swallow, which would, could be dangerous. Uh, and so she gets horseshoes yeah. from the ska to push with. Yeah. Because she's like, if only I had, like, a spike way. Yeah. And uh, so then she does this crazy fucking yeah. like, juggling shit. With a bunch of horseshoes. With a bunch like of horseshoes. Three horseshoes, maybe? I think it's, like... Three or four? I think it's more than three, but, like, it starts with, like, yeah, a couple. Yeah, and she, yeah. like, adds more as she goes. Where she, like, pushes off from it. And then, like, drops a horseshoe and, like, pulls the previous one while she's pushing yes. the next one and then dropping it and yep. just, like, cycling horseshoes, like, dropping one, pushing off of it, dropping another one, pulling the last one, and just, like, juggling yep. them around in this way as she, like... Just this big, like, uh... Flying yep. <laughs> mobile spikeway thing. Uh, and and she like falls and hits the ground several times, but yep. she eventually like gets into like a rhythm of doing it, and she starts zipping her way to Luthadel because she was like, oh, there was a spike way. Wait a second, horseshoe time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's like luckily it's it was like rainy recently and stuff, and like the ground's yep. wet, so it like sticks, sticks in. in and pushes down into it and stuff. Yeah. Yep, and that's and that's chapter fifty two. That's what I have. Yeah. Anything else worth mentioning? Alrighty, chapter fifty three. Uh, Shreff has found the drug he's addicted to, <laughs> uh, and uh, Shreff Shreff says to let them all die. Uh, like the because c- you know the Luthadel's being attacked, and his like commander or whoever is like you know should we like go in it's like no let them go a little bit longer yep. and they're like yeah, yeah. excuse me i think this happens a couple times it's like should we go in no let them go a little bit longer yeah yeah let them go a little bit longer and like it and then eventually it's like uh straff and he's like no <laughs> let, let, let it all burn let yep. it, y- yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Yeah, just fucking let it all burn down um and then uh so there's fighting in luthadel clubs oh yeah yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> right. So, so I think my notes for chapter 53 are a little bit sort of like, I think I was more just kind of listening and then yeah. doing notes afterwards because I just have fighting in Luthadel, clubs and docks and die as Sazed fights off Coloss, Vin shows up, Breeze has a panic attack, 
Aurian and Set have a scene. <laughs> and those are my yeah, only notes. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was just too in it. I'm sure. Right? Because at this point, everything's happening. Oh, yeah. It's like all, all the, the fighting going like, on. We're cutting back and forth all the time. He does these the, these perspective shifts. Like, mm-hmm. his, his battles... It's, his endings, like yeah, it, they it, flow so much, like well into each other, like back and forth. Because one of those things where it's like, in order to take notes, it have to be just like stopping over yep. and over again, and be like perspective shift, perspective shift, just again and again. Yeah, you know. But it's like it's so good to like read and to like listen to, and I'm just so caught up in it. But it's like we we have these like scenes of like yeah, you know. Um, oh yeah. Well, the first thing is like Straff has found. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 okay. So it's like. Fighting in Luthadel. Yeah, first, uh, Sazed's fighting some Coloss. Yep, Sazed's fighting some Coloss. Um, and, uh... He, he, like, successfully, like, they push, like, he closes the doors yep. and they kill the Coloss that are in there. Yeah. So then they, they, like, secure that gate for a while. Yeah, they secure that gate for a while, and then, like, um, we see clubs fighting and dying, uh... Like him and Breeze are running, and clubs fighting and dying. Yeah, well, and and says that hears about the tin gate being overrun, mm-hmm. and and that's and, and, where a tin wall yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so he's worried about that. Yeah. And then we see we get Doxin. You know, the the fighting is happening, and Doxin fights back, and he gets killed as as the other people go, and I'm so sad. Yeah. Yeah, clubs first, and mm-hmm. then, yeah, and then Dark. So this is all Kelsier's fault, and... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He should have seen this coming, he left us with this mess, then assumed we'd find a way to fix it. Well, I can't hide a city from its enemies, not like I hit a crew. Yep. Yeah, and just, like, ranting. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then how does his little bit kind of, like, end? Um. Because it's like, he, he goes to, like, fight a Coloss. Like, the Coloss yeah. start, like, jumping in, and he just, like... <laughs> yeah, you know, Kel, I almost started to believe that they were right, that you were watching over us, that you were some sort of god. Yep. And then he and then he runs in with the sword and yep. gets killed. Yeah. As as one would imagine. Yeah. <sighs> this is gonna make me cry and I haven't reread this like <laughs> Yeah. And Yeah, yeah 'cause like both like club dying in front of Breeze and then mm-hmm. the immediate dachshund dying is Yeah, I didn't I didn't want because it's like I was very much like I can see a way that they could maybe get out yeah. of this, but it's like no, some of them had to die. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna die, and yeah. it's just like, uh, and Breeze is like, oh, so I'm a coward <laughs> after all. Yeah, he runs and he hides, but it's like Breeze, you but, would never. And like the but the entire time, like the thing with that scene is because mm-hmm. that's the scene that I was talking about earlier that I like mm-hmm. that I really love or whatever, like where he's like, hiding and, mm-hmm. like, convinced that he's a coward, that he's not doing anything. But the entire time, he's still, like, mm-hmm. soothing everyone, like, outside. He's, yeah, like, yeah. hiding and, like, terrified. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, and then, like, him being rescued by mm-hmm. by the others and stuff. And just... Yeah, because, cause, like, Ham and the others, like, show up yep. and, and find him. Uh, and then I have Arian and Set have a scene. Um, oh, yeah, Vin shows up. Vin shows up at um, Sazed's gate, right? Uh, that is... Is that right at the end? That is not yet. What? Well, is it? Sorry. Uh... I think it's, like, basically right towards... I think it's probably towards the end. I know that, like, Set and Ariane have a scene where yeah. she's like, you gotta do something, and he's like, no. <laughs> and she's, like, rioting him, and he's like, no. Yeah. That's what I was... Where is it? Oh, yeah. Here, here's Vin coming back. Mm-hmm. It's uh, before the breeze. Mm-hmm. Before the breeze. Yeah, pen- yeah, yeah. My, my notes are all jumbled on this because yeah, I'm just yeah. like, here's all the things that happened in like one note because I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's so there's the, um, yeah, Ariane not uh, like yeah. There's that scene or whatever. Yeah, now that I'm being able to get set to, yeah. to to go and help and attack and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and then Vin shows up. She like. Oh, yeah, because because Sazet's being, like, held by a coloss. Yes, yeah, yeah, and he, like, runs out of pewter. Yep, and he's like, oh, I can almost, like, see something in the sky shimmering, and then, like, it gets closer and closer, and it's yeah. Vin, and then Vin just... <laughs> uh, fucking... The bit of sparkling light he'd seen. It had been a coin. <laughs> right, and it goes right through yep. the fucking coloss, um, like, head or whatever. And it's like, she's here. Wow! Yeah. Um... Yeah, and then and then that's uh, 
all that I have for... Yeah. Yeah, then she just, like, cleans up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then she just starts f- fucking going to town. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, Sazed was trying to be like, go! <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the crowd, you were right, Sazed said, she returned. Yes, holy first witness. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and that's, and that's the end of the chapter. Or, yep, yeah, then the breeze stuff in the end. Yep, chapter, and then the yeah. breeze stuff happens. Yeah, because I think Sazed is one of the people who, like, finds yeah. breeze with yeah. ham in them. Um, yeah, uh, and so then that's chapter 53, unless there's anything else. Um, yeah. All right, chapter 54, Vin fights Kolos. Sazed yells at Penrod. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Vin's just, like, fucking cleaning up the Kolos. Uh, doing doing her misborn shit, uh, and Sazed is with like Ham and them, and yeah. goes to, like Pinrod's place and is yelling at him like, "Do something!" <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's where he finds out about like where Doxin's at being overrun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and clubs had the wooden symbol, and it didn't save him. Yeah. Yep. That... Still, one uh, one image stood out to him: clubs dead in the snow. The wooden disc says it had given him earlier that day, tied to a loop around his neck. It hadn't helped. Yep. That that part yeah. also also got me. You know, because it's like says it says it's really going through it. Like yeah. Like like this is says it having to sort of like confront some things about like because like about the way that he like views Mm -hmm. the world and these religions and stuff because like in the previous book it's like you know he has all these religions that he's holding on to and And that was his form of resistance yes and then like that that religious he didn't have a place to put that resistance anymore but he still mm-hmm. believed in the same way yep. It's, yeah yep and now it's like because he's realizing it's like oh all these religions like how much of this is really like practical for mm-hmm. the actual like reality of yep. life post lord ruler yeah and like in, in war and in famine and like you know the, whenever he's helping the woman with her baby and is like esoterica will not yeah you know help her now yeah and that sort of stuff it's just like him him sort of having to reckon with like oh you know i believe in all these things and it's easy to do when you know everything's like it's like everything isn't good right. under the final but it empire was stable but it was stable and now there's all this instability which has caused all these new forms of like trouble yeah um and, and so it's like him having sort of like reckon with like a, a genuine sort of crisis of faith but it's every faith kind yep. of at the same time yep. um just with the concept of, of faith, faith yeah. in general, which is which is kind of interesting, says it as this sort of um, just sort of religious person, not of any one particular faith, but just of faith as a concept in general. Yeah, is it's interesting. Um, so yeah, so says it yells at Penrod. Uh, clubs had the wooden symbol. Penrod ain't doing shit. Yep, and he won't even let them come in and. Uh... Nope. No, no, no refuges in or anything. No, because Pinrod sucks. Um, and and then I predicted it. Um, Vin controls the Coloss. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I said she's gonna eat one of the rings. I bet. I, I thought that she was gonna eat one of Sazed's <laughs> rings. That it was like she's like I need medals yeah, in order to do yeah. my shit, and I I really thought that she was gonna eat one of Sazed's <laughs> rings. Because I'm like, they keep bringing... Because they kept bringing attention to the rings. Yeah. Because he, he was, like, these, like, rings that he had been filling up with stuff was, like, this backup. And he kept, like, referencing them, coming yeah, back yeah, to them. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so these are going to be important at some point in some way. And so I'm like, is Vin going to get them? Yeah, like, what's yeah. what's going to what's gonna happen? Um, but she controls the Coloss. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Vin can control them and get to Coloss to lift her. Yeah. <laughs> lift her up to, like, Pinrod and be like, listen, f- fuck you. Uh, or just get medals from Keep Venture, that works too. Um, uh, Vin gets a sword that's bigger than her. Fuck yeah, anime. <laughs> and this is just so much poor Tindwool and poor Seizad. Yeah. Yeah, so because Vin is able to control the Coloss, she, like, uses emotional elements to take control of the Coloss, and so that, like, drastically... You know, that ends it, yeah. essentially, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she takes control of the Coloss, but she's like, I need medals, now. Yep. Um, and, and she, like, gets lifted up by the Colossus being, like, sort of paraded around by them. And she's like, fuck you, Penrod, <laughs> and you're fucking bullshit. Um, 
and she gets one of the Colossus swords, which they have the big fucking swords, and so the sword is described as being bigger than her. Yep. And I'm like, hell yeah, fucking Cloud Strife, Buster Sword, yep. Vin. <laughs> um, I, I assume it's more that than it is, like, Sephiroth, Masamune, long skinny katana, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh... But yeah, no, and then Salazar's like, I gotta, I gotta go do something else first. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And so then he's scouring the, the, the battlefields until he finds Tindwall. Yeah. And, I, it's so sad. Yeah. I... He, like, checked everyone. Mm-hmm. He checked everyone, and he finds Tindwall, and... It's really sad for Sazed, and Sazed's really going through it, and, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, you know, a part of me is, like, you know, it's the whole, like, your, your, your sort of split feelings as a reader of, like, I feel really bad for Sazed, but also this is super interesting for Sazed, yeah. like, yeah. character-wise yes. and, like, story-wise, narrative-wise, but also I wish Tyndall could have yeah. lived. Because it's, like, God, because, like, Tyndall shows up this book. Yep. And... And I love her. She's yep. great. Like, she's annoying, but in a way that I like. Yep. As, like, she's annoying, but in a way that's not, like, annoying to read, but just yes. sort of like, oh, you would be annoying to be around, but you're so fun as a character, yep. and I enjoy having you around, and, like, having someone to talk with Seiza, yeah. and, like, someone else from Terrace to be there to, like you know, get some of that and yep. have these interesting interactions with Sazed and, like, all this sort of stuff. And also, she's just... Yep, and with uh, Ellen and with, you know... Mm -hmm. And it's also just, like, she's had it so fucking yeah. tough. <laughs> like, we find out about her and all of her shit and all the shit yep. that she's been through, and then this happens. Yeah. And I'm just, like, I just wish that she could have <laughs> lived, you know? Like, I, I kind of saw it coming, but I also kind of hoped that maybe it wouldn't happen, <laughs> you know? It's, yeah. it's, it's very, it's very like, you know, I don't know. There, there, there is a part of it because we, like, we do, like, again, my, my, like, brother-in-law once said that, like, Sanderson has said that if he redid Mistborn, if he could change something about Mistborn, he'd make, like, Breeze and Ham women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because. Because the, like, the. The, the, the crew is so overwhelmingly male. Yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. no, like, reason for that to yeah. be, really. Because, like. Alamancy doesn't care one yeah. way or the other, and so, like, why wouldn't some of them be women? Um, and so it's, like, while he, you know, Vin is, like, our main character, yeah. and she's a woman, and we yeah, also yeah, have, yeah. like, these other women characters who are, who are, like, good and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> but there is a little bit of, like, and here's Tyndall, who shows up, yeah. has a romance with Sazed, yeah, and then yeah. dies tragically for his story. Yeah, 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 yeah So yeah. it's, like, as much as, as much as I do love it, there, yeah. there's a little, it's, it has just a touch of that kind of, like, you know... I get that. That sort of feel to it, that kind of, you know... Uh, you know, well, you know, Tyndall is more than just a woman who exists to further say it's yes. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, there, there's, like, you kind of feel a bit of that. Like, it, it you know... I, I do think that she is more than that, but, but again, just with so many male characters yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and whatnot, you know, it's And like, because, like... Sanderson has drawn attention to it. Yes. Like, he's mm -hmm. specifically mentioned it. And talked about, like, with adaptations, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he wants, mm -hmm. like, some of them to, to be yeah, yeah. women. Right, and, and so it's just like, yeah. Uh, so, so there's part of me that's like, oh, the yeah, Tindall. Yeah, um, But yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's rough. Yeah, and he's not even, he's not able to do, like, it's just interesting because we see him do, like, these kind of, like, funeral mm -hmm. and burial kind of services right. for so many different like kind of people over the like course of the last book, book and yeah. and yeah and he's not able to do one yeah, for for Tindwell. Tindwell because he just can't like, yeah it's and it's like, just it makes it even more like right he's just in there like what do I what do I even do yeah he, he like he, he's he's really like even though he's lived he's kind of lost pretty much everything yeah yeah you know it's like he hasn't lost all of the people in the crew or anything but like his but, yeah, yeah, faith, yeah. sort of general faith, yeah, and Tindall now, yeah. and just like all this sort of stuff that he had like held on to is really sort of like going poorly, yeah. Uh, and it's just it's so sad. I see. I didn't cry during any of this, although I did. I do think 
that when this happened, I, like, paused and, like... Yeah. Put my face in my notebook and was just like, oh. I was listening to the audiobook in the car, and I'm pretty sure the, the last, like, couple chapters of this whole this whole thing, I was just yeah. t- crying. Just crying a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like I, I don't... It's like, things will make me cry, but I feel like I, I've, I don't quite know what exactly it is that does it. Yeah. Certain things will, other things won't. Sometimes it'll kind of like catch you by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. that's... In one of the Reckoner books, I had to go out to the car because I was listening to it at work. And I had to go out to the car for about 15 minutes <laughs> to a half hour to just cry because <laughs> my, like, mask at work was getting, like... <laughs> so it's tears? Yes, and I was just like, I'm like, I, I need to... <laughs> I need to leave. I need to leave. Oh, man, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, but yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's chapter 54. yeah. Do we have anything else for that? No, I don't, uh, I don't think so. It was just very sad. It was just very sad. It was so sad. Uh, and then, and then we get on to chapter 55, mm-hmm. where my first note is, quote, the benefits of addiction. <laughs> <laughs> because this is, I, I was thinking that this was earlier, but, but this is when he's like... Because he mentions it a few times mm-hmm. in the section before, or whatever. Right. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he was like, ah, the benefits of addiction. Yep. Now that I know what yep, I'm, the ben- yeah, <laughs> I, I can take it, and and yep. I'm so like sharp and on it. You know, it's yep. like it woke him quickly and easily, making his body feel warm despite the early hour. Yep. When uh, he might have once taken an hour to get ready, he was up in minutes, dressed and prepared for the day. Yeah, it's like I don't know what taking cocaine is like, <laughs> and I never will. I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm just like he's fucking coked out of his mind. Like I'm up and ready, and I got all this energy, and I'm ready to go. (laughs) The benefits of addiction, Um, and 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 this is where it's like, (laughs) you know, yeah, because the people he's like, yes, let them all die, whatever. And this one he's like. I'm um, talking about like yes, they'll all be gone. Yep. Everything will be whatever. And and he says no ska to worry about. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you can't live without them. Yup. <laughs> you know, it's like he's like, you know, no more of these pesky nobles, no more whatever, no more ska to worry about. And it's like, bitch. <laughs> like, you, how's your society gonna run? What society? E- exactly. It's like, bitch. You 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 had your fucking mistress be like your fucking poison master yeah. you know your fucking healer yep and she would she was a ska yeah <laughs> i imagine yep. I, you know like bitch what are you fucking talking about you have a whole fucking bevy of of she was probably a lesser noble yeah most likely yeah it, well well i guess it depends mm-hmm. on whether he was try- in trying for like a mistborn or like misting kid or not yeah, well, I don't know, because cause I just assume... Well, yeah. Because I assume that if it's anyone that's in his, like, women that he owns as, like, right, sex slaves, right. so no, those that those wouldn't would be... be no. Yeah, 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 yeah they you're... wouldn't be lesser yeah, nobility, yeah. that they would just be ska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Because um, he's like, oh, our noble blood is just so strong, we're such right. pure nobles right, that, right, like, right. he's doing it with a bunch of ska to, like, form them, I imagine. Yeah. But anyway... It's just, but still, it's just like, you, the Ska are the slaves that run your yep. whole society. Like, yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. mean, don't have to worry about Ska anymore? I mean, I guess, I don't know, Straff, I could see Straff putting the lesser nobility to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah Essentially, yeah. you know, like, he doesn't care. You know, he's, he only cares about himself, but, eh, who knows. Um, yeah, and, and then, uh, Kolos and humans attack. They, cause Vin's... Yes controls the Coloss, and so the yep. Coloss and the humans come running out of Luthadel to attack, and they're like, what the hell? Yep. And and gathering on the other side of that field were Coloss. Mm-hmm. Looks like they're alive after all. <laughs> yep. And, uh, Vin launches its straff. Yep. Uh, fucking with her Duralumin powered steel pushing, she launches its straff, and, uh, Split Straff and his horse yep. right in two with yep. her giant anime sword. <laughs> and it's so good. Yep. I hear that some people are a little upset that she also kills yes. the horse. But it's a very common one in uh, in reactions and stuff that I'll see. It's like the, the horse? The Did you ho- have to kill the horse? And it's like, you know what? 
sorry to say it, but I don't care about the horse. Poor she, horse, but like... She's also the person who killed a dog <laughs> to, to <laughs> give to her... Condra. Yeah. Like, so, I mean... Yeah. You know? Uh, fucking... <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about Elysiac's life. Yeah. And and how she jokes about Sanji always beating up animals yes, in Sanji One Piece. Yes, Sanji animal abuser. Sanji the animal abuser. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's the fucking coolest shit. She fucking launches herself yep. and fucking with her giant anime sword. Just one shot, just, just fucking one shot splits, splits them both. Two, and it's so satisfying yep. to just be like, fuck this yep. guy. Um, it's, uh, uh, she, she looked at the remnants, smiled grimly, and b- uh, bade Straff farewell. Uh, where was the... I was looking for a specific line, and I uh, lost I, it. I know, which, I know which one you're talking about. Oh, it's literally the next Yeah, line. I was thinking it was literally the next I, fucking I line. I couldn't read it for some reason. My brain no longer re- recognized it. Yep. Ellen had, after all, warned him what would happen if if he attacked the city. Yep. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> yep, she literally fucking said, I yep. told you, I left. fucking told you. Yep. And then she fucking comes <laughs> screaming through the sky, yep. cuts him right yep. in half. No, she's supposed to be gone. <laughs> yep, yep. So it's like... His last thought. <laughs> yep, which is interesting, because it's, it's like... So there is, like, a level of, like, if she hadn't left, none of this would have happened. Yeah. It's only because they did the plan for to leave and then come back that all this, like, happened. But also it's, like, if she had... Because, like, if she had stayed there, Staff would have just fucked off, right? Wasn't that his plan? Yeah. You know? Because it's, like, I can't... And it's, like, no, do the thing where you hold back and let them, you know... Yep. And it's, like, if she had been there for that, Straff wouldn't have come and done this. Yeah, I think so. You know? Um, yeah, because he thought he, she was fucked mm-hmm. off. Yeah, so it's like, sort of the logistics of like how it all yeah, goes. Because yeah, yeah. like, there's a certain level of the whole, like, them leaving that feels a little bit like nothing, like, happened. Like, yeah, what, yeah, what was yeah. the point of that? Yeah, like, they oh. left and then immediately came back because everything was mm-hmm. back here. <laughs> yep. But, uh, but, but there's, like, reasons why yeah. it's sort of, like, is useful in terms of, like, Straff wasn't going to do it unless she was gone. And it's, like, so all this kind of stuff. But also it's, like, you know, letting... Like, staying back and learning the Coloss attack, he would have done either way. Yeah. But then this sort of, like, this sort of bit where it's like, no, she was supposed to be gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, like, whether or not he would have, like, come in and done it. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, if she had been there the whole time, then she could have, like, prevented, like, a lot of this. She could have, like... With, pre- like, the Coloss and stuff, With the stuff, Coloss yeah. and stuff, because she could have, like, you know, she could have figured that out and, like, stopped the Coloss and whatnot, and she could have prevented a lot of this sort of stuff if she yeah. had, like, been there for it, but they didn't know that. Yeah. And... And then she could have just fucking killed Straff anyway. Yep. Yeah, yeah, You know? Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 interesting. Like, there's so many opportunities. I think they probably should have trusted Vin more. <laughs> oh yeah, no, for sure, for sure. It, it's also one of those things where it's like Vin, like, like there, there there's always a sort of like hindsight things of like how to optimize this. Yeah. But say like, they should have trusted Vin more. But also, it's like if they had known, because like if Vin had been like, oh, I can control Chandra with Alamancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the Chandra and the Coloss are, like, both things created by yeah. the Lord Ruler, because what's-his-face told me? Um, Suni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tensoon yeah, yeah. told me. But, like, she doesn't do any of that, because she has this whole thing with Tensoon, like, oh, I'm not gonna yeah. tell anyone. And if they had known that, and been able to be like, well, maybe you can control the Colossus, yeah, and, like, yeah, then, yeah. like, they would have just, like, gone with that as the plan, you know? Yeah. But, like, no but one knew that that was, no. like, a thing. Um, Vin didn't even know that was a thing until she was like, right. actually, you know... Right, right, yeah, because without doing that, she wouldn't have been able to fight all of them mm-hmm. without, like, controlling them. Yep, for sure. Yep, so so it's, so it's interesting. Um, yeah, splits them into... Ellen had... Yeah, yeah. Ellen had, after all, warned him what would happen if he attacked the city. Turns out I, I had it written down. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> and I could have ah, just... Ah, ah. That's funny. Uh, Arian head towards the battle. Yeah, I also love that this, uh, what are they doing mm-hmm. set? <laughs> yep. They're, like, they're attacking with the Coloss. With the Coloss. <laughs> and Arian's like, you better come save me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, better come save me. He's like, God damn it. You're... Yep, yeah, because she, like, just uh, runs off. She's like, ah, follow me. And mm-hmm. then, uh... And then I have, we've recreated the original problem in miniature. We have Set's army, we have Straff's army, and we have our army, yep. but now we have the Coloss, but also we've taken a bunch of damages. Yep. So it's like, <laughs> we've recreated the same problem, but in miniature. 
Um, and, uh, oh yeah, and then I have the mist, the mist tried to kill Set, question mark? Yeah, yeah, Set got attacked by the mist at some point. Not concurrently, but in the past. He's, yeah. like, remembering, like... Did he say that? Uh, I don't know, but he says it in here. He's, like, thinking back on, like, all the shit that, like, led him to being here. And, yeah. like, when the mist tried to, like kill him or whatever because he's like there's something up because it's part of like why he's like backing vin's side because it's like there's something about her and like yeah and like you know ever since the mist tried to like kill me or whatever a confirmation of the stories a power like i saw on that night when the air almost killed me yep mm-hmm is he talking about the mist creature or talking about vin the air See, yeah. in the audiobook, it just says the air. Oh, no, yes, like A-I-R. Yeah, so I was like, oh, the <laughs> air tried yes. to kill him. Like, he was attacked by the mist, like some of the people in, like, the villages. Yes. I was like, I don't remember that, but, like, maybe that happened, and I just don't remember. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, because, see, it's just, listening, it's just the yep. air. The air yep. tried to kill him, and so I'm like, oh... The mist tried to kill him, like, with the thing, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, 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 Lady Air. Yeah, but the air, yes. like, H-E, yeah, H-E-I-R? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> the, 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 the pitfalls of listening to the audiobook, yep. as it turns yep. out, the, the things that you, that you, uh, get mistaken on. <laughs> um. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, so, so, forget that, then. <laughs> Yeah, set, set goes to defend Luthadel. Yeah, I just love uh, Ariane. If you want to protect me, Father, you'd better charge. <laughs> <laughs> she just runs down. It's, and he's like, no, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Uh, it's so funny. Ariane, I love Ariane, mm-hmm. actually. She's, she's a lot of fun. Still very, you know. Oh. Like, she, she does essentially, uh, like, assault. Breeze, yeah, it's kind a bit, of. It's a bit. It's a bit dubious <laughs> in the consent category. Um, I keep wanting to call Breeze Sazed. Like I, yeah, I yeah, keep yeah. wanting. Like I'm like, no, it's Breeze, and I keep forgetting Breeze and wanting to say like Sazed, Sazed. <laughs> ay ay ay. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, and then gather our forces. We're marching to the defense of Uthadel, and somebody send riders after that full daughter of mine. Yep, uh, Sazed watches Vin fulfill the prophecy. He's, like, thinking about all these, like, prophecy yep. things as she's, like, doing them. Yeah, and he's, like, wondering why he even cares about the prophecies yep. at this point. Vin kills Straff's generals. Uh, and then I have, there we go, Vin's figured it out. But I don't know what it is that she figured out. But she, like, kills Straff's generals and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um... Sorry, I was just reading some of the... No, it's good. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck I meant by, like, there she goes. She figured it out, but I don't know what it is that she figured out. Yeah, I don't know. Can I see? Yeah. <sighs> I have no clue. I have genuinely no clue what the yeah. fuck I was saying. <laughs> just truly, she figured it out? What the fuck did she figure out? Me? What the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I think it maybe had something to do with when she was talking to Set and the whole thing about, like, you know, it's like, you you wouldn't kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellen, honorable, blah, blah, blah. They yep. have that whole, like, interaction. It's like, it's like, no, but who, who cares? Um, yeah, it's like, uh, Yeah, your own Ellen would never stand for, for such a thing. He's not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what do you think he'd say? He'll tell me not to give in to such a demand. The Honorable Ellen Venture would never give in simply because someone threatened his life. You're not the man that Ellen is, and you know it. <laughs> He's like, nope, I'm not. And then he fucking bows. Yep. Very well, then. I swear myself to Ellen Venture. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was it. But see, the thing is that my next note is an obligator control sets land. Yep. He's welcome to my kingdom, ass- uh, assuming he can take it back from that damn obligator who now controls it. And there we go. I guess that's just when that is. Yep, and then the hero of ages is a lady. Yeah, it's like, we were right all yep. along. But it was just, you know, because it was just a third person neutral pronoun. Yeah. Not uh, not specifically he. It was yep. a lady all along. Yep. Yep. The Messiah was a woman. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. And that's chapter 55. And so chapter 56. 
uh, Ellen and Spook traveling at night. They're traveling at night because she was like, travel at night so that you can be on the lookout for Mist Spirit. Yeah. Because... Yeah, yep, that way it doesn't like sneak up on you like while you're asleep. While you're asleep, <laughs> yep. Yeah. So they're traveling at night. Uh, Ellen felt guilty for not having allomancy and being able to like do shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, how can tin let you pierce the mist that was one of yeah. the questions it's like it can let you see better but like how can it let you like pierce the mist more like yeah. if the mist is there then it's just there yeah which is a good question and one that i'm like hmm, maybe actually i could make some speculations about now yeah. yeah 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 but but we'll get to that um it could just you know it's magic who who cares um but it was a question that was brought up <laughs> what's that oh just a mystery yep <laughs> what and it's like yeah you know mystery the big big blobby thing <laughs> mystery Blah-blah. you know big goopy things related to contra yeah and it's like yeah of course i know what they are i just never fucking come across one <laughs> uh mist lingers longer and longer shapes in the mist why it almost looks like a person <laughs> why why, why, that's so crazy. Who, who would even think that the mist would look like a person? This is so crazy. Um, why are you pointing north, mist man? Because the fucking mist thing is yeah. like pointing north, and so I was like, why? Why are you pointing north? What's the deal? Peace? Allomancy? Does, I have that note for some reason. Peace? Question mark? Allomancy? Question mark? Um, yeah, uh, tell me what you wish of me. The thing pointed again. Ellen cocked his head. It certainly didn't seem threatening. In fact, he felt an unnatural feeling of peace coming from it. Uh. Allomancy, he thought? It's pulling on my emotions. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. Yeah, and it's, and it's interesting, because the mist... Because it's Allomancy Mist Man. Mm-hmm. There, there's allomantic pulses coming from it. Yeah. So, like, what's the deal? Like, is it doing Allomancy? What is it? Why is it? <laughs> These, I'm sure, are questions that'll be answered later in the next book, <laughs> to some degree. Uh, steward refugees, the like stewards, yep. the like yes. terrorist stewards, yes, because fucking terrorists got fucked up, yeah, because the synod revealed itself too early. Uh, Steel Inquisitors went and killed the keepers yeah. in synod. The synod revealed itself after the fall. Terraces in ruins. They they sort of revealed themselves too early. Uh, Tathanwen is the yep. terrorist capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They attacked Tathanwen with an army of Kolas brutes. How is that spelled? Um, T A T H I N G D W E N. I was close, but I didn't have the G and the D, um, like Tathanwen. Yeah. I had it. Uh, I didn't have those, and I had an I instead of an E for for Tath. Tath and win. Tath and win. Ah, got you. Yeah, Instead yeah. of tathing Dwin. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard to pick up on some of those. Uh, yeah. Terrace Capital. But that was merely a distraction, I think. Their real goal was the Synod and the Keepers themselves. Mm hmm. Yep, 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 yep. The Inquisitors themselves struck at the Keepers. Right. Uh, and then uh, there could be other traveling Keepers, um, like Sazed and yep. Tindwall. So there could still be Keepers out there, but like the Synod. And the keepers that yep. were there got fucked got, up. Yeah. But anyone who was traveling around doing work like say as it yep. was would still exist and be out there. Yeah. So basically. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So he's really lost like fucking everything. He has like everything is fucked in that respect. Yep. Um, and that's all the notes that I have for this chapter. Yeah, and they do mention that Tindwall would basically be their leader, but they don't. Yeah, but they don't know that yeah. Tindwall is is dead at this yeah. point. Right, right, right. Yeah, so they're like, we gotta get to Luthadel and yeah. see see Tindwall and and stuff. But Tindwall's Tindwall's dead. Anything else for for chapter fifty six then? Nope. Chapter fifty seven. The Empress, the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, so, so, yeah, because c- one of Straff's generals was, like, spared. Yes. Yeah, we didn't really talk about that super, no. super much, where she's basically, she kills all the generals except the one. Yeah, because we mentioned that, like, Straff, not Straff, that Set swears fealty, but also yes. she has um, one of 
uh, Straff's men, like the the last person who would be in charge yeah. now that she killed all the generals and yeah. stuff. She goes, Straff is dead. You control his army now. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. You do. Mm-hmm. And then. And then he swears the army to to them. And yeah. Yeah, but she's like, nope, swear it to Ellen. Yep. And so and so now Ellen has been made emperor by her essentially. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She's like, nah. And so now there's <laughs> this whole democracy thing. I've made you an emperor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like set. Gen, gen, general? Um, yeah. Something like that? Um, and Penrod are now, like, the three kings yeah. that are under, um, Emperor Yeah, I don't Ellen. want to say this. General? 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 Yeah, it's, like, J-A-N-A-R-L-E. Gen, general? Yeah, I'd be, like, general, maybe? Okay, because there's, like... General. Because they make reference to, like, a river that's, like, Channeral or something like that. The River Channeral or something like that. And so it kind of reminds me of that, but yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Sazed, uh threatens them with Vin's power. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sazed's like, what's the point in all their bullshit? <laughs> Sazed's very like, what's the point in anything? Yeah. At this point, though. But yeah, they're, they're squabbling about, like, we should go retake... Set's land. Yep, we should go retake yep. yep. Strash land. Penrod's like, I'm in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Penrod's yep. like, I'm a bullshit centrist, and and Set's like, Set and the other guy are like, we're fucking whatever. Um, we're gonna go reclaim those old places, and it's like, like how you are. <laughs> and Set's so just like, shut the fuck up, all of you. Um, yeah, strange nails taken from Coloss. Colossus have nails in them, like fucking Steel Inquisitors. I, I need explanation on the nails, please. <laughs> I'm guessing because see, I'm excited for next book because like while Era Two exists, yeah, it's, we're gonna be getting a bunch of answers. Yeah, yeah. And it is the end of an era. It like, is the it, end it, of an era. It, it and so wraps like, things up. Yep. And so we're gonna we're gonna know shit. Yep. And then in yeah, not that there's not. Like more things in the future, but it absolutely mm-hmm. you know it's wraps like but that's gonna be like the future future, so oh, yeah. it's not gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. All right, so strange nails, holy first witness was just because he's like, why would they like holy first witness is this thing that they came up with? Why yeah. would it be like? Why would they know to come up with this thing that's from the the tablet rubbing or whatever? What what the fuck? Yeah, Vin's up. Vin's awake. She'd been out because she fucking pewter dragged forever. Yeah. <laughs> and then did a whole bunch of bullshit. Um, and had been keeping herself awake with pewter for like a long time. Yeah. Before then, it's like, you don't have, it's like, it's like hopefully it'll be like wakefulness. Yeah. With, <laughs> with fucking um, keepers where, you know, you'll just sleep for a long time and be fine. Yeah. And she does. She wakes up. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, they say, like, what would happen to the city if she never woke up? Like, mm-hmm. worried that... Uh... Yeah. And um, drew upon the mist at the well, and it's like, what's up with that? Uh, he changed the world. Uh, so, yeah, this is sort of Vinge kind of talking about, like, her whole thing with, like, the Lord Ruler and drawing on the mist and how he was able to, like, change the world with the Well of Ascension and stuff. And so it's like, he, he changed the world. He could have moved where the Well of Ascension is. Or, like gotten rid of the mountains and made new mountains elsewhere and like you know he changed everything like he broke the world he 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 <laughs> he got he touched Sidene <laughs> I mean this is I mean spoilers question mark I mean we, we we're always fucking talking about Wheel of Time Wheel of Time but like it's the eye of the world right and it's like you go to the eye of the world and there's like a weird thing yep. there yeah, 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 and yeah, it's but- Bunch of power there. Bunch of power there. It's it's. What if the eye of the world went differently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and spoilers, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, Ellen's here. Ellen arrives. He he finally gets here. Um, from from uh, you know he finally makes his way back to Luthadel. So Ellen's here. Is my next note. Um, and the same bit is torn from the paper again. So like the rubbing, the like the the copies of the the rubbing, the the same bit is torn again from like the new copy that they made of the like. Yeah. Lindy cannot be allowed to do this. Okay. Yeah. And the well's been getting stronger. She can feel it. What you looking for? Something. Something you say. 
Okay. Uh, I, it's alright. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> what, what was it? I was looking for, uh, if a further section was written out in, in the other section. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, the wall's been getting stronger. Vin is, like, feeling it getting stronger and she's like oh this is you know it's like it felt distant and then it yep. felt like it was getting yeah, yeah, closer because yeah. it's been getting stronger over time and it's like he built credit shaw on top of the well of ascension so that whenever you know it filled back up again he could use it um she finds a hidden passage opened with strong alamancy it's like a section of wall that she yep. has to like pull on but she has to use like duralumin and stuff right to to like get it open she has to have strong enough alamancy in order to open it. And so she opens a hidden passage. Sazed reads the tablet. Mistman appears. Statlin City? Is a note that I have for some reason. Mist is killing people. Mo uh, Mist Spirit is leading Sazed. What do you do with power? And then Marsh. Oh no. Those are all of my notes for the, <laughs> for the chapter. Um... But I don't quite remember what all of them mean. But says it's like reading the tablet, rubbing again, trying to like figure out what the deal is. Because like something's wrong yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I need to go stop Vin from doing whatever it is she's doing because yeah. something's up. Something, something's yeah. something's not right. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what Statland City, what that was about, or what that would do with them, like the mist killing people and stuff. Um, but Miss Spirit is leading Sazed. And, and it's like, what do you do with power? Um, and I think that was, like, a me question. It's like, because, like, because this whole thing is, like, what do we do with the power once we have it? And this sort of, like, yeah. whole book is kind of about, like, the nature of power and how one uses it and how to use power responsibly and stuff. You know? Right? Because, like, yeah, Ellen yeah. has to learn how to, like, be a king and whatnot. And it's, you know, like, it's not a, actually about, like, giving up the power. It's about using it properly, yeah, essentially. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it kind of ends up being where we're at with, like, Ellen and his arc as, like, king yeah. and stuff. So it's like, what do, you, what do you do with power? And then Marsh, I'm like, whoa, Marsh is here. And then, oh no, <laughs> Marsh is attacking. <laughs> um, and, and that's sort of how chapter 57 ends. Oh, okay, yeah, here's Statlin City. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they, when they're in the cavern or whatever, they're looking at, like, a map of the final empire in there. Mm. Um... Uh, and in, yeah, indeed, a map of the empire was carved into the metal. Luthadel was marked at the center. A small circle marked another city nearby. Why is Statlin City circled? Um, this is the mm. one we came for, and then they go off. Right, right, right. Okay. So that's why. That's why. Because they find a map, and it's like, why is Statlin City yep. circled? And then they just... And then they just move past it. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I made a note of it, because it's important. It's going to be important for later, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's where the ATM is. <laughs> I mean, maybe not, but I'm like, oh, that's where the ATM yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my guess. Um, you don't keep it in Luthadel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too obvious. Um, uh, but yeah, so so yeah, and then and then Marsh shows up. Yeah. And is being all ominous. Says that is following the Mist Spirit to them. Yes. Yeah, yeah I have that. Mist Spirit is leading Says to them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Marsh. Um. Yeah, they're like, Marsh, what is going on? I wish I knew. I wish I wish I understood. Yeah. And then he attacks. Yeah. I wish I understood why I have to kill you. Yeah, because it would seem that Marsh is being controlled much in the way that, like, the Chandra and the Coloss are being controlled, right? Like, something, like, we, we know that that's a thing. Yeah. Right? That they can be controlled with, like, this emotional alamancy. And, like, the Chandra don't seem to have this, like, the metal spikes you know, yeah. we've never seen in like Chandra so much more like, like, but, cause like when when like, but like could they could they have but like no cause like or Sir's a dog or Tensoon's a dog and I don't know that we ever see him go like transparent but we saw or Sir go transparent but it's not like he was naked he was wearing clothes yeah so he could have gone transparent had like spikes be in him but still not visible yeah and or Sir Tensoon God damn it. Or Sir was never the dog. Yep. Or Sir was never, never the, the dog. dog. Nope. Ten soon was always the dog. Yep. And we'd never see him have spikes through him, but could still be inside of him in the way that, like, in all the metals yeah, yeah, inside. Yeah. But, like, would that make sense? Yeah, because he can just, like, open his skin Because he can whatever. just, like, open his skin. So, like, maybe they could, because, like, 
the coloss have nails in them. Yeah, yeah, they like have a bunch that they talked about. So I'm like, does that have anything to do with like controlling them? Yeah. Because like that was like a theory that I had like a long time ago that yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. the the little ruler could control them through like the spikes and whatnot maybe. Um, so it's like maybe that's something to do with it or maybe it's something else. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, I, it seems like they're maybe being controlled, but they're not being controlled by the Lord Ruler. They're being controlled by, like, whatever the fuck is in the Will of Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, trying to keep Sazed from getting to, you know, s- to do Vin to stop yep. whatever's going on. So, yep. you know, he's working for, like, you know, the mist or, you know, but also it's like the, the mist man is made of mist, but then also the mist... Anyway, it did. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, so I'm like, what the hell is going on? Is my, fir- <laughs> is my first note is what the hell is going on? <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. Be- okay, because this 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 chapter does end with I'm free, um, with the thing breaking out and being like I'm free. So like, yeah. So yes. it seems like he's being controlled by what was ever was in there, maybe. Like, why is Marsh doing this? Being controlled somehow. Gold is health because. Yeah, because uh, Sazed gets fucked up, yeah. but then he uses the gold from his ring for health and the strength and stuff. Uh, Ellen feels in over his head in smoke room. There's a room full of smoke down in like the chambers or whatever that they go through. There's a glowing white pool. That, that's the Well of Ascension. Find some sort of metal and pottery shards. Um, uh, like, oh, what's this over here? It's metal and this pottery shard. Yep. Um, zinc is mental ability. I have that because, like, he burns the zinc and he can, like, think faster to, like, try and do the fight order. Because this is another one where, like, yep. yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. bouncing back and forth between them getting, trying to get to the well and, and him being, yep. being, like, stopped by Marsh and having to fight Marsh. Yep. Marsh has been out killing. just been killing yep. a bunch of people. Marsh gets knocked, uh... Marsh gets fucking knocked by something, uh, but I don't remember what. Like who who comes and helps Sazed against Marsh? What does Marsh get hit by, or does Sazed just overpower him or something? Um, by his own push, it seems. Uh, Marsh immediately tried to uh push Sazed away uh, by the metal bracers on his arms, but Sazed was ready and he uh, tapped his uh iron mind, drawing forth the weight. Mm-hmm. So he. Oh right, he makes because himself super heavy, super so heavy, whenever so he, he pushes, needs, he pushes himself back. He pushes himself back instead of Sazed. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Miss Spirit attacks Ellen. Is the next thing that I have. Yeah. Um, but just, but I feel like there's more of this like Sazed and Marsh Yeah, there's a uh, yeah them fighting back and forth. Yeah, cause like, but like, how does their fight like end exactly? Um, it's so sad. Why Marsh? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. You gotta get the uh, spike in his back. A dueling cane smashed against uh, the back of Marsh's head. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Someone, because I, I thought it was yeah, Ham. Right, Ham shows up yep. and knocks. That's what a, that's what my note yeah, was about yeah. for him getting knocked. Was Ham shows up? Got you. And, and knocks him. And knocks him with the cane. Um, and then they're at the well, and the mist spirit attacks Ellen, like cuts him open yep. real bad. Um, and it's super bad, and she's like, I can't yeah. save him. The mist spirit stood immobile for a moment, then it raised its arm. Something flashed, reflecting, reflecting the pool's light, and then it stabs him. Yep. Gets him real bad. She, um, goes into the pool. She's got the power. I got the power! <laughs> she sees the whole world. Uh, l- oh yeah, life can only exist at the poles. That's, that's a bit that gets mentioned here. Uh, the power came upon her suddenly. She felt the liquid pressing against her, creeping into her body. Uh, where is it? Yeah, because eventually um, she gets to, like, where she's seeing the whole skin world. Flared. She's going through the power then. Um, the, it was a force of incredible capacity. It would have been beyond her ability to understand, but expanded her mind, forcing her to grow and comprehend what she now, uh, possessed. Vin could remake the world. She could push back the mist. She could feed millions with the wave of her hand. Punish the evil. Protect the weak. She was in awe of herself. Um... I don't... Yeah, let me see. I don't know if she sees the world yet. Or maybe it's after. Yeah, it was, it was like, right after what you were just saying. Got you. Um, 
The cabin was transparent around her, and she saw the entire world spreading, a magnificent sphere upon which life could exist only in small areas at the poles. She could fix that. She could make things better. She could... She could save Ellen. Yeah. yeah. So, so that that line of just like um, a magnificent spe- a magnificent sphere upon which life could exist only in small areas at the poles, which is something we had never heard about before in this world. Because we only know about like Luther really, Bell. Yeah, really the central dominance, which is mm-hmm. like yeah, because it's like oh, like he conquered like the whole world, but he conquered like just one of the poles, seemingly. And then, like, on the other side of the world, on the other, because, like, on the other pole, it's, like, uh, just, like, a completely different world, probably, essentially, you know? Like, untouched by, because it's, like, oh, at the end. This is the final empire. Yeah. So, like, Luthadel is in here. Uh Uh-huh. And then there's kind of, like, the rest of this area. Right. Yeah, so it's, like, if, if life's only inhabitable at the poles in, like, a small area, what's the center like what's yeah. like the equator like yeah, yeah yeah like what's the rest of the what's the rest of the planet like mm-hmm i'm like is it too hot is it just too hot and so like the poles where it's cooler it's cool enough to like live yeah, yeah, yeah. essentially you know is is there anywhere that's like frozen over completely yeah, you know yeah, yeah. i don't know that that really stood out to me it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. what the hell um yeah, um, she sees the whole world, life can only exist at the poles, I must defeat the deepness, uh, says this voice, there's like an old voice, it's yeah. like, I must defeat the deepness. You know what you must do, the voice said. Mm-hmm, and so then she gives it the power, and it's like, I am free, and it, and she's like, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh-oh, this was exactly not what we were supposed to do. Yep. This is the book where we fuck up tremendously. Yeah. This is, this is, uh, fucking, was it Empire Strikes Back or whatever, you know? And people always talk about how that movie is like, yeah. oh, it's the, you know, it's like the low point in terms of, I mean, of it's like, the book, it's the book two of, uh, of three mm-hmm. books. <laughs> yep, that's usually how it be. <laughs> it's usually how it be, but yep. it, it sucks. Eh. <laughs> why did, uh, why did the Mist Spirit attack Ellen? Oh, right, the Mist Spirit attacked Ellen so that she would try and save Ellen so that she wouldn't use the power to free the thing yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so seemingly the mist spirit is working against yeah yeah, yeah. the thing getting out um because it's like i I feel like it's not made of the mist it's just kind of this invisible intangible thing that like the mist because it's like allomancy causes the mist to like swirl and stuff Mm -hmm. and so it's just like like react to it it's just like a being of pure allomancy spirit essentially and so like as it moves through the mist it causes this man-shaped like yeah, yeah, yeah. disturbance in the mist it's not that it's made of the mist i don't think so much as it's like only visible by its interaction with the medium of the mist yeah yeah, yeah. i like that a lot yeah so that's my sort of theory i guess and and what's been freed my guess based on the limited extra cosmere knowledge that i know yeah, yeah, yeah. and also the fact that i've talked about how on Esoterica he has talked about sort of like Kabbalah and like the Sefer Zohar, the Tree of Life, yeah. the like this this sort of with the Tree of Life, it's like these the, the, the different like spheres or all the like different like parts of God, yeah, and they have to all sort of be in proper balance yeah. in order for God to be like correct. It's it's this funny thing. Of, like, if we just do Judaism hard enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. correctly enough, it'll balance God, <laughs> and then everything will be right. All of God's different bits yeah, will be balanced. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, judgment, this part of God yes. that is judgment, it just on its own isn't it's, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's it's out of balance. And I know that it's like, oh, like, the only thing I know is that I saw a TikTok one time, or like a, <laughs> or like a you know real that was like cosmere like everything you know about the cosmere it's like god's dead kind of yeah, sort of yeah. and i'm like this is already way more than i need to know please stop <laughs> yeah. why are you doing this yeah. why are you just jump scaring me with fucking cosmere spoilers out the fucking gate yep <laughs> like like i know that you've said that you kind of knew that as well going yeah, in yeah, yeah. but to me that feels like a weird thing to just like because that so colors my perception of what's going on here i'm immediately like 
Because I also know that shard is a thing yep. in in Cosmere. Yep. There's things called shards, and they're like in planets or something, maybe? I don't know. So, about what you're saying right now is about the kind of information I had gleaned mm -hmm. before... Entering into the world of Cosmere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so, like... Yeah. I don't... I'm not going to say how much of it is, you know... Yeah, it's just that it so colors my perception of this that's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, if I didn't have any of that information going in here, I'd be like, oh, there's some ancient something so, that's in yeah, here. Right? Yeah, but now yeah. I'm like, this is a piece of God that we've let free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my immediate assumption. Is that this is, like, you know... Uh, a piece of God that's, like, not one of the good pieces that has been let free. Something, something shard, something, something piece of God, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. still, like, that's kind of my assumption because of the things that I know. Yeah, and also yeah, the yeah. fact that, like, Rashik <coughs> took the power for himself rather than giving it up. And yes. he referred to himself as, as a sliver of infinity, yeah. a piece of God, and all that sort of yeah. shit. So, like, it feels to me, like something's going on there. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, this is yeah. somehow God-related. And this is, like, you know, God's wrath or some shit, or yeah, God's yeah, judgment yeah. or some shit. You know, it's like, this is something bad in that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, uh, But I don't know. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah. But but it's free now. Yeah. Let it free. And that's bad. And that's the end of chapter 58. <laughs> yep. Yep. I am free. I am free. Is, is there anything else to mention? Nope. All right, chapter 59. Yep. And then the epilogue are, are both, they're each not too terribly long. Yeah, they're both pretty short. Uh, but chapter 59, Miss Spirit leads Vin to the metal and uh, and has her give it to Ellen. Yep. And it's finally the metal that gives you Alamancy. Yep. yep. All that time ago. You, you had you mentioned it ages ago, and I'm like... Over here, <laughs> like, yep. I <ain't> well. <laughs> yep, nope, it was an ATM, but it's whatever nope. this is, unless unless this is, like, the super ATM that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that guy was telling me about a long time ago. Um, yeah, so, Ellen can burn metals now, and, and those are the only notes that I have for chapter 59, yeah. is she gets the metal, gives it to him, he burns it, and he can burn other metals, and so she gives him the vial and he burns the metals and so he can burn pewter so that he can yep. stay alive so they can like fix him up yeah so still able to save him see the thing is that the miss spirits is like it's so funny because like tries to kill him so that she'll yeah use the power to heal him yep but uh instead she doesn't and so yep. now because it's like she'd been like primed this whole time to be like you have to give up the power you have to give up the power and mm -hmm. it's like you know yep Yep, yep, yep. And so it's it's fucked. Yeah. Um, but then the Miss Spirit's like, okay, well, let me save him yep. then. Let me yep. help you save him then. Yeah, it's Which like, is... I didn't actually want to kill him, but, like, this was important. But, well, yep. I mean, now that it's happened, mm -hmm. might as well bring him back. See, what's See, here's the thing. This makes literally no sense, but it's just a funny thing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the Miss Spirit is Hoyd. I don't know how that would make any sense. <laughs> yeah, Because we yeah. saw Hoyd earlier. Yep. Yeah. Um, but just because Hoyt is one of those things that it's just like, I know that he is a Cosmere spanning character. Yep. It's funny for any mysterious any, yes. thing that I don't know what it is to be Hoyt. Yep. Yep. And, and you, that, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's chapter 59. Yep. Essentially. And then the epilogue, which I've been waiting for this epilogue. Cause like, here's the thing. Hey, for all of you out there, this is... Going to be epilogue slash whole book. <laughs> this yeah, is the yeah. epilogue slash wrapping up every all the thoughts about the whole book. Because yeah, yeah. once once we get this last bit, it really recontextualizes a lot of things. Um, and this is where you can sort of get into Tangent Town about like this whole book and yeah. the sort of the whole series. So so this is going to be epilogue um, slash final thoughts, yeah, yeah. which makes sense for an epilogue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, in the epilogue, boy oh boy, uh, Conventicle of Saren, yeah. uh, Sazed goes to the Conventicle of Saren, the rubbing doesn't match the plate. Nope. He has the rubbing, and he and there's the plate, and they don't match up. It's the original rubbing that he yep. took of it, but it doesn't match. It doesn't match. And anything not written in steel can't be trusted. Anything not written in metal cannot be trusted. 
right from the beginning. Yep, it's the F- first, first. It's the first line of this book, or or not, not maybe not the first line of the book. It might no, be. it's the first line of the rubbing. It's the first line of. No, it's the first line of the book because it's the the epigraph before uh, chapter one. Ah, uh, right, the epigraph it's, for chapter one. It's legitimately the first line of the book. Yeah, I write these words in steel for anything not set in metal cannot be trusted. <laughs> It's the absolute first line of the book. You're so fucking right. <laughs> yeah. And and it's just... Yeah, God. Yeah. Also, there was a reason why I was checking this and then checking this and checking this. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I figured that, you know, but, um, you know, so the, the prophecies are changing. Yeah. Uh, we get the full text. Yes. The full, unedited yep. epigraphs text from the rubbing all in one go, yep. which is great. Um, Owen has allomancy now. Uh, how could you have known that everything you had been told, trained, and prepared to do was wrong? And that's what sort of, like, Ellen tells Vin when she's like, I yep. fucked up about this yeah. whole thing. And it's like, how could you have known? How could you possibly She known? did the best possible. Like... Yeah, she did the best that she possibly could with the information that she had. And, like, even was, like, willing to sacrifice, like... Mm-hmm her husband f- yeah. to, you know, mm-hmm. yep. because she thought it would save the world, like. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. And getting that full text read out by Sazed yep. is really good. Um, and it just, like, yeah. you know. I can read part of it. It's yeah. quite long, but. It, it, it um, is long. Uh, but So, like, after talking about, like, I know your argument um, mm-hmm. uh, about the prophecies and stuff, mm-hmm. um, and yet, Something about all this seemed so convenient. It felt that it felt almost as if we constructed a hero to fit our prophecies rather than allowing one to arise naturally. Um, this was the worry I had, the thing that should have given me pause when my brother came to me, finally willing to believe. After that, I began to see other problems. Some of you know of my fabled memory. It is true, I need not a ferrochemist chemi- metal mind to memorize a sheet of words in an instant. And I tell you, call me daft, but the words of the prophecies are changing. Mm -hmm. The alterations are small, clever even. A word here, a slight twist there. But the words on the pages are different from the ones in my memory. The other world bringers scoff at me, for they have their metal minds to prove to them that the books and prophecies have not changed. Yeah. But only, only these things, you know, I pound these words into steel because only things in metal can be trusted. And it's like the the shit torn out of the, the thing... Um, wasn't this thing, it was, like, the missed thing, probably, that did it or whatever, but just, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, can, yeah. And whatever the this power is, it can change words within a ferrochemist's metal mind. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm. Yeah. I've come to only one conclusion. Something has taken control of our religion, something nefarious, something that cannot be trusted. It misleads and cloaks in shadows. It uses Alendi to destroy, guiding him along the path of death and sorrow. It is pulling him towards the Well of Ascension, where the millennial power has gathered. I can only guess that it has it sent the deepness as a method of making mankind more desperate, of pushing us to do as it wills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And then, um... Uh, he will take the power and then, in the name of presumed greater good, will give it up. Give it away to the same force that has changed the text, to this force of destruction that has brought him to war, that has tempted him to kill, that has craftily led him to the north. The thing wants the power held in the well, and it has raped our religion's holiest tenets in order to get it. And so I have made one final gamble. My pleas, my teachings, my objections, even my treasons were all ineffectual. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and that just reshape so much of like your understanding of this yep and like how things were being like changed to make it seem like vin yep and it's like how did it know to be like holy first witness when this is a thing that like the church yep. of the the survivor came up with yes. because it's not that not. because it's not that that's what the text originally said yep. it was changed to that to yep. make it seem more like the prophecy is coming true. Yeah. Whatever it is that Alindy's doing, now the prophecies are matching what he was doing. Yes. Whatever it is Vin's doing, now the prophecies are matching so that yeah. we'll get Vin to go, to go there. Like, Vin's not delusional and thinking yeah. that the prophecies are about her because, because the prophecies are changing to be more about her. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's so, it's so crazy. And it's like, you know, what was... The whole thing of, like, oh, you don't know what you've done. Like... Yeah. You know, it's, like, 
fucking tell us then, yep. you yep. shit fucking asshole. Yep. Because that's the thing. It, it's just, he could have absolutely said something. He could have absolutely said something and he didn't. Like, he, like, the Lord Ruler was a piece of shit up until the end. Like, the only thing that he did was, like, because it's one of those things, it's like, whatever this thing that's gotten out is, is, is bad. And it's going to yeah, be yeah. bad and it's probably going to be worse in some way than whatever the fuck you know, yeah, Rashik yeah, was doing. Yeah. But, like, Rashik was still shitty and awful yep. this whole time, and it's like, this isn't the right way. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, even if you're coming from this perspective of, like, greater good, yeah. this is not the right way to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can, you can, you know, the <laughs> it's like, hey, guys, I know that you think that you're sort of like, because, because here's the thing, it's this interesting sort of thing. It's like, even if your goal, like, even if this thing that's been released is essentially, like, the devil, yeah. right? It's like, hey, guys, even if your goal is fighting literally the devil, a, re- a totalitarian religious theocracy isn't actually the right way to fight it. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, which is just an interesting sort of message to be putting yeah. out there, you know? The right way to fight a, the devil is not a totalitarian <laughs> religious theocracy, you know, with an iron fist and all that sort of jazz, you yeah. know? It's not about having a strong dictator who can keep everything in line. Yeah. Because, because then the people don't know, Yeah. you know, this whole, like, control of information thing. But again, also, if you're coming at this from specifically the point of view of it being, like, anti-Catholic like, or something, mm. you know, you can be like, oh, you know, the, the, the church shouldn't have all the knowledge, the yeah. people should have yeah, the knowledge, yeah, yeah. which is kind of like a Protestant thing of, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. We should all have access to these religious texts and not be hoarding the knowledge so that we don't know how to fucking fight this thing when it actually like comes back around again. Yep. But also it's like we can't even trust the text. Yep. Because the texts change over time. Yep. Which is true of real religion. Yeah. The text changes over time. And it's influenced by the people whose hands yep. touch it. Yep. Over the decades, over the centuries, over the millennium. Even just a word here or there. Even just a know? word here or there. Just a slight twist. A yep. slight difference in interpretation, you know? Yep. It's like, in this case, it's like a mystical, malevolent force. Yes. But in the real world, it's just people passing it down yep. from generation to generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, changing it to fit their needs ever so slightly. Yeah. Um, you know, just like, just a thing that doesn't quite work. Just make it a little bit nicer. Yes. Just yeah, make yeah, it yeah. fit a little bit more how we understand it now. Yeah. Which is different from how they understood it then. Yeah. You know, that it's an interesting thing watching Barterman's podcast and him talking about biblical scholarship is this idea of like you're going to have these older versions of the text that have like a particular view based off of the culture that it's produced in. And then as time goes on, you know, and it's being rewritten over and over and over again, someone will change it and it's not that they're trying to make it right. incorrect. It's just that as time goes on, the perception changes. We view this thing differently. Yep. And now our current views don't align yep. anymore. And so this bit of text feels wrong. Yep. It feels out of place now. So we just kind of make, make it, it fit, fit better. Yep. We just kind of, you know, they probably meant it this way. Right. In a way that makes it fit how we... Yeah, because that's how that's how it is. Because mm-hmm. that's how we see it. Because that's how we see it. And so it's like oftentimes in, in biblical scholarship, the more difficult text in that sense the one that doesn't sort of come together and coalesce as easily is more likely the right one or the original one than the one that makes everything sort of work nicely yeah because it's more likely that someone's going to change something to try and make it make more sense than make less sense so if something sort of doesn't make sense in within the views of the current time period in which it's being analyzed that's when it's more likely to be changed yeah and so and so the version that doesn't fit nicely is the one that's going to get changed yeah Yeah, right and so that's sort of the interesting thing about biblical scholarship is whichever is the harder interpretation is probably the correct one in terms of which is the older one yeah yeah, yeah. um you know it's not always true because also sometimes scribes just make dumb errors yep yep it's so funny it's like scribes make stupid errors all the time like literally the scribes who are illiterate who they just know to literally just copy the symbols and they don't know what they mean they can't read them they just know your job is to reproduce (laughs) so well reproduce this text not just reproduce (laughs) i i work somewhere where like i like the like scanning Mm-hmm. Scanning books, books and documents and, and, and stuff. Documents and stuff. And so, like, we do stuff uh, 
like in different languages with different numbering like mm-hmm. systems and stuff like that and like a lot of times like people will like miss pages and stuff like that because they're they're mm-hmm. looking at a completely different like yep yeah it's like they, they don't realize that they've gotten off because they can't read the numbers properly right, to like know right. and stuff yeah yep yeah, yeah it's just like you know <laughs> this idea that like oh over the years everything has just been like passed down perfectly right it's right. just like it's like even in like a like digital format where we're like actually mm-hmm. taking pictures and it's like th- mm-hmm. there are still going to be errors still going to be things missing mm-hmm. in in the process of, of yep. preserving and and taking the stuff down yep 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 and so it's just it's super interesting you know it's like scribes and again it's sort of like think thinking about the whole like we talked about this before the nerdy thing about like reading yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. like there are scribes who were illiterate yeah yep. like you know the, the idea that this was all passed down perfectly it's like you know, we we live in a time where we can't imagine the idea that someone would be a scribe. Yep. A job that is about text yep. so heavily yeah, would yeah, be yeah. illiterate, would be unable to read. But it's like, you don't need to read yep. to be a to, scribe. Yep. Yeah, as long as you can reproduce those symbols over and over yep. again. But then, you know, it's like you copy a line twice on accident. Yep. You leave a line out on accident yep. because... Because this is your job, and you're just and you sitting look, here writing all day. And then you look to the side, and you look back, and you don't notice that that you had skipped a little bit with your eyes, and yep, now like, you're oh, writing something else. Yep. Oh, you skipped a line. Oh, yep. you skipped a word. Yep. Oh, you you know you misspelled that word, yep. but you didn't. And it turned it into another word. And it turned it into another word, <laughs> and you didn't even realize because your brain just sort of scans over, and yep. you're like, yeah, these look about yep. right. And you know, just like this shit happens all the time. Just these little little errors like that yep. and it's kind of interesting to sort of have that sort of turned into yep. like a like kind a, of mystical magical yeah like force force you know and so it's the, like the misinformation uh <laughs> demon yes the misinformation <laughs> demon uh yeah and so like i now wonder because here's the thing i've seen these like pictures of like the cosmere yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like planets and they have these little things inside of them yeah, yeah, yeah. the like shards or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, and they usually have like two, from what I've seen. Yeah. There'll be like two of them. So I'm like, is the mist spirit thing like another sort of like equivalent thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's sort of like going against this thing that's, you know, like this thing can exert its will in the world in the form of making the mist and like trying to do the deepness shit and like changing the text and sort of stuff. So like, it's like, and it's, it very much... You know, I don't think that this would be really considered a, a Wheel of Time spoiler, but it's like, you know, the Dark One, yeah. uh, or like the Dark Lord, whatever, I can never once, like, I mean, I just want to say Shaitan, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, the, the, the Great Lord of the Dark, yeah, et cetera, yeah, yeah, yeah. how it's like, it's sealed away, but there is, but you yes, can but still you can, feel yes, its yeah, influence yeah, yeah. out in the yeah, world, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, you know, it's like, it's sealed away, but they're still somehow able to exert an influence out on the world. And, and it needs to be fully freed, but it, you yes. know, can, yeah, like, yeah, kind of yeah. seep Pistol, through the cracks yeah, a little yeah. bit. Um, and so I wonder if there's, like, another one on the other pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, did he do that? Did he make it so that life is only... How do on the pole? He, he changed the world. Yeah. He made all these, like, mountains. He, like... If you can control the world, why did you make the ash mounts and cover everything in ash? And the the and the sun red and all that like and the mist is still there yeah and like like he changed the world but like why did he change it in these ways yeah. and did he make the world uninhabitable did he mean to do that yeah is that just a weird side effect what happened <laughs> I th- I think those are great those are fantastic questions yeah he 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 also he did a reverse lose there and where um. Because in the very first chapter of the first book, Luz Theron fucks off and becomes a mountain yes. and dies. Yes. He he turned a mountain into <laughs> not a mountain. He yeah. leveled a mountain. <laughs> yep. And, yep. And made his home there, as opposed to fleeing his home and making a mountain somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> he did kind of a reverse. Like, dies and becomes a mountain, becomes a god and levels a mountain. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. uh yeah yeah the, the just just read the first chapter of wheel of time and just be so confused it's great i love it yeah you you read the like is it is it the prologue yeah yeah it's just like the pro you read the prologue of wheel of time and it just makes no sense you're very confused and that's also how the prologue to stormland archive mm-hmm. is 
and yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love I love a completely disconnected mm-hmm. like thousands of years ago prologue that means nothing. Yep. And, and and so it's one of those things where that prologue means more and more. Oh yeah. The more you like read the series, like even even now, and oh, I was, yeah. and I've forgotten so much at this point because like I've taken such a break from yep. Wheel of Time. But like going back to that first chapter, I would be able to understand just like so much more. Oh yeah, now definitely. That I have, like, like after like the third book, you unlock a new uh, like a new reading of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the prologue. Then after book like five or six you get another one (laughs) after like eight you get another one (laughs) yeah it's so it's very fun and and also it's like this is already kind of happening with this yeah where it's just sort of like going back to the first book there'd be a bunch of stuff that would be like interesting to see oh yeah sort of like from that perspective um and and i'm super excited for the next book now to like finish all this sort of stuff up you had been marking stuff from the podcast Yes. Like listening. I'll have to go and like and and find those spots to see which ones we have mm-hmm. like right. covered. Maybe we should like like at the end of the next book. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. C- didn't was it like Allie and Gus? You said yes. Was that Wheel Takes? Yes. Did they did a bit where yeah, it was like was it Wheel Takes? Or, there's there's a channel called Wheel Takes and a channel called Wheel Reads. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's Wheel Takes. It is. It is. It is. Um, yeah, so, so it's, like, they had a thing where it's, like, he saved a, saved a bunch of clips of her. Being, like, so close to correct of, about, uh, mm-hmm. Wheel of Time, and it was, it was great. Or, or, yeah, or just sort of being, like, or, or not, or, or sort of, like, looking for one thing and yes. completely ignoring the thing that yep. was, like, it's, like, the, the, the sort of the funny thing, because I'm trying to think of how to explain this without saying the thing, giving the yeah, spoilers yeah. and stuff. It, Wheel of Time book three spoilers. Um, yeah, Wheel of Time book three spoilers, where it's like, she's like, looking for, was it Ishamaya? Yes. And, and just completely, yep. in, like, ignoring, uh... Balsamon. Balsamon. Yes. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was doing like a like. This, is this person is she? Is this person is she? Like all over the yep. place. And then it's like, get out of here, Balsamon. I'm trying <laughs> yes. to look for a shaman. Yeah. <laughs> Just stuff like that. It, uh, it was so good. And he had like a whole like. A bunch of like clips of, mm-hmm. of, those. of just like these moments yeah. where she's like, you know, they're like, you know, it's like, who, so who do you think it is? And it's like, well, it's not Belzema. <laughs> just, or just like, I think it's so and so, so and so. What do you think about Belzema? I don't know. Yeah. It's, like, it's like giving her these like little hints and stuff. Yeah, because like he tried to, to like kind of dissuade her for, for a while, like, you know, like. Mm hmm. Not not be super obvious, but then after a while he's like, wait, no, you actually need to get this. <laughs> yeah, just like being like more and more, <laughs> more obvious, obvious, and it's still just not happening. It's great. Uh, okay, and Wheel of Time spoilers, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so just yeah, a, a situation where someone's <laughs> missing something, yeah. Yeah, 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 or you know, being close or whatever. So I'd I'd love to know what bits I was. Like close yep. or or like completely off in a funny way, you know, sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah. So like you know, we'll, we'll we'll maybe try and put that together for like the last book, where yep. you can like run through my clips of <laughs> of, of whatever. Um, but yeah, that that's um that that's this book. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else really to say. I'm sure that there is. Like right now, like Sazed's in this. Like, yeah, because he's talking about, like, Saza being in this interesting place with, like, his religion and yeah. his faith and sort of stuff like that. Because it's, like, what even is his religion? Right. Um, but then it's, like... His it, religion was basically religion. Was, yeah. Was, like, the concept of faith mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. Yeah, w- w- which is, like, it's interesting. And it's, like, it's done well in this way where it's, like, a character who is just the religious one. Yeah. But in a way that doesn't feel sort of like and here's our token religious yep. perspective it's like you know and they're like are, there are other religious characters as mm-hmm. well like i'm mean, right, like, right, right. thinking of like Doxin with like he mm-hmm. like <laughs> yeah he was like or, i almost started to believe or whatever not Doxin, i meant demu yes <laughs> I, I i was expecting demu and then and you said, said Doxin, and, and i was like i mean he does have that moan he was like i was like, but yeah, no, demu, not what i meant <laughs> yeah no demu is like religious and he has this whole like yeah. thing with it um yeah, just sort of like, you know, 
ha- having say it be this character who stands in for sort of like religion in this like broad sense because he studies all these religions and stuff and his sort of crisis of faith right now is very interesting i'm very yeah. curious to see where that sort of ends up um uh, the, the the whole thing of like being led to believe that you're the messiah because of all this like misinformation yep. stuff is super interesting um you know, uh, I'm glad that Straff's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zane's also fucking dead. But see, you just think, th- what was the voice talking to Zane? Yeah. And it was telling him to kill Straff. Why? What does what does it want? And also, did it, does it have anything to do with like Vin's mother? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's just all these things. Because also, there's a bit when she goes into the Well of Ascension that like her earring. It's mentioned, like, when yeah, she's in yeah. there and she's, like, burning and stuff. So it's like, I don't know. It just, the, the earring. It's still Chekhov's earring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because there's going to be something with the whole Vin and her mom and her mom being, like, you're going to do this stuff and, like, killing the sister. Yeah. There's something yeah. important there, but I don't know what it's going to be yeah. yet. And it's, 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 it's good. Uh, yeah. and, and poor everyone. I was, for everyone. I was going to ask you, because the next book is called Hero of Ages. Right. And since we find out, like, the whole, like... Yeah. It's so, like, what does that mean for... What does that mean anymore, the Hero of Ages, right. now that we know that, like... Because it's like... Because it's like, is all the prophecy just sort of, like, made up for the purpose of getting this thing out? It seems like yeah. it. Maybe. Essentially. Because, like... It's like, oh, changing these things to make the prophecy fit so yeah. the person goes and does it. It's like, have but was the, there original? A, a, oof. An original, and was that just sort of like, humans make religions, yeah. and we made yeah, a religion, yeah. and it just sort of like, took advantage of that? Yeah. Or did it sort of create it? Yeah. In order to try and get people to come and like, release it, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, And like, what, what sort of like, would be the upshot of either of those? Yeah. Like, what... If it's one or the other, what does that kind of say? Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, humans just do this thing. We've been manipulated and religion is this way in which... Because, like, in either way, religion is this way in which people can be manipulated yes. in, into doing something that they wouldn't otherwise do because they've been misinformed because they, they put this stock into this thing that's been, like, changed and been, like, specifically tailored to form a certain narrative yeah. to, you know. But, like... Whether or not that started out of, like, started as a lie or started oh, yeah. just as sort of, like, you know, human religion, just sort of, like, which which even in and of itself, it's like, well, how do religions start? Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. like, are all religions essentially just sort of started on a lie? You have, like, ancient people trying to just sort of understand the world around them, yeah. and they don't have the same sort of, like, means of understanding the world around them as we do, because we have different... Because we have this whole mountain of information yep. passed down on and on and on and on that allows us to like know so much more than the people who came before us yeah. did like we know so much more than the people who came before us did because we've been able to pass it on in this way yeah right like we have the historical texts that have survived and also just like the modern our sort of modern yep. history yeah, yeah, yeah where like you know you know, scientists are always saying we stand on the shoulders of giants. Yep. Everything is built off of what comes before us. We don't have to, every generation, Re- reinvent yep. calculus. Yep. <laughs> you know, we have calculus, and that's been very useful. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you yeah, can, yeah. like, refine it and make it better and all this sort of stuff. And it's like, back then, you had to figure it all out for the first time and then pass it on. But then yep. you and could then, get completely wiped out by another... information does not... It's just yep. gone, you know? It's like you get wiped out in a flood yep. or in a famine or yep. another group of people yep. comes in and they don't care and yep. they kill all of you and take all your stuff and yep. you lose this information that that they had, you know? Yep. How exactly did they make Damascus steal? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Yep. <laughs> you know? It, all, all this sort of stuff. You know, we, we have this sort of, like, benefit of history. Yeah. Of having learned from history. And that's, you know, why in a lot of these sort of stories, like, hiding that information yeah. is so important. Hiding these types of allomancy from yeah. the people, you know. And uh, One Piece, I don't know if this is spoilers, but we... Because it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what counts as spoilers? One Piece is so big. <laughs> One Piece is so big... There was someone, hey, shout out to you who was like, can you mark our One Piece spoilers? Because I assume, 
either you're just really early in One Piece yeah. or you're like a live action yeah, person yeah, yeah. maybe because we were talking could, about like could, yeah like <laughs> basically coming up live action stuff yeah because we're talking like, <laughs> like, like that maybe that maybe you yeah, know but but like uh, <laughs> you know so so light One Piece spoilers yeah. uh, you know in in the history of One Piece yeah, there's yeah. a period of a hundred years. That has been erased from history. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. we that we're trying to sort of find out what the deal is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least some people are. Yeah. You know. Um and end of end of that. Yeah. Spoilers. But um but yeah, so it's like keeping knowledge away from yeah. people it, it is like such an important like means of like control. Yeah. And it's yeah. like early human religion, we don't have you know, the the the, the these Myths of like, oh, we separated the waters into like the sky and then the water underground. And yeah. that, oh, it's like, that's an explanation of where does well water come from? Yeah, Why yeah, is it yeah. that when you dig a well, there's water there? God put the water down there underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. under the earth, you know? Um, and now, through years of technological advancement, it's like, well, you know, the water seeps through the yeah. topsoil and down, and eventually you hit bedrock, right. and it can't yep. go below the bedrock, and so it, like, fills up, and, you know, if you dig down, yep. you know, it's like the water drains into the soil and through all these sorts of things, and, and because the water drains through all these sort of, like, sediment layers, it, like, gets filtered, yep. and so then whenever yeah, you yeah, yeah. dig a well, you can have this relatively clean drinking water. Yep. Um, but you can only know that if you have all of this, like, multidisciplinary yep. stuff on like geology and water and you know all the sorts of things to like you know you, you can know i dig a hole and there's water there's down water, there yeah, yeah. but how did it get there <laughs> and and it takes and also takes living in in a place where you're not having to worry about other things yeah. all the time you know um and so it's like humans form religions because they're trying to sort of understand the world and then there's this malevolent force that's trying to sort of like yep. shape it in this particular way so that it can be free or whatever and then in our world this gets you know because early on religion is just our best explanation of how the world works it you know gets shaped yep. by people who want people to have a certain view a certain understanding of how the world works and what is true or not yeah. in order to facilitate their goals whether they be positive or negative yeah. Yeah. right um and yeah and it and it's so interesting it's like it, it you know so so often you can come across these sort of like you know like i i have a friend who when i've talked about brandon samson and stuff he knows that samson's mormon yeah and and my friend is not religious yeah and he's worried like are these books like religious yeah. books you know and it's like they're books that talk about religion yeah. but are not like just religious propaganda, yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that we can have, like, a nuanced, interesting conversation about the nature of religion from these books The thing is, is, is like, I've read, like, religious, like, propaganda novels. Like, yeah, I yeah, yeah. grew up on them. Right. So, like, <laughs> it's, it's a very, it's a very different kind of feeling and, yep. like, take on it. Yep. And, and, I, and I love it. It's, it's super, <laughs> it's super fascinating. And I'm, and I'm so interested yep. in what the next book is going to be. And because, like, as yep. I said, each book, I'm like, yep. how is this going to end? <laughs> and what is the next book going to be? Yep. Like, Hero of Ages. Yep. Like, what does it mean to be the Hero of Ages now? Yep. You know? Like, you can be the Hero of Ages and, and defeat this thing that's yeah, been unleashed. Yeah, yeah. Can we reseal it? What are we going to do with it? We have... Because cause now I'm like, what's Miss Born Era 2 about? How does this... Where, where does... <laughs> you know? Because I know that... Yep. In Era 2, it's, like, almost, like, noir. Yeah, kind of, like, detective-y and, and mm -hmm. like, kind of steampunk. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, like, they, they, we get, like, more technologically yep. advanced because, like, the Lord Ruler was keeping technology from advancing yep. in a lot of ways. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the... I, I feel like my powers lie more in analysis than in prediction a lot of the time. You've, you've... Uh, you've you've gotten some some mm -hmm. good theories out and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like I get it right before it happens. <laughs> I, I think you've had some good. Uh... Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 but uh, but yeah, no, it's interesting. I wanna I wanna see what the next one's gonna be, and then after that, we're gonna have to figure out yeah. what we're doing next. Kick that can down the road some more. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I think that's that's about what I've got. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to, you want to add? 
I've been debating trying to send you away for, a, like, a two-minute talking about a uh, fucking Stormlight 5 preview, mm-hmm. but there's literally one thing I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could. I could, I, could, <laughs> I could leave, and then you could talk about it, and then I could come back. I could put my, like, earbuds in and go out into the, to the living room or something. <laughs> it's, like, not even that big of a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I just need to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be totally down for that if you are. Like, <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to, like, pause the recording yep. real quick. We're going to get that. And then whenever we come back, this will be Straub's uh, Stormlight... Uh, Stormlight 5 preview chapter, uh... Interlude. Yep. (laughs) All right. All right, so I just want to talk about Stormlight 5, because I've been reading the uh, preview chapters uh, every week since they've been coming out, and I just needed to talk about, uh, and this is your last chance for no spoilers, uh, I just wanted to talk about Felt, because he appeared in, like, like... I think it was a couple episodes of this podcast to go, so, like, a little bit ago in this book. He just, like, appears as one of, uh, like, Ellen's, like, scouts or spies or whatever, and I I was reading it and was just so surprised, because it was the same week that the Felt uh, interlude chapter came out, and I'm just curious as to what the fuck he's up to currently and what he was doing here, and I'm just... Very curious about this uh, minor character. But yeah, that's that's all for my little uh, Stormlight 5 preview chapter interlude. We'll see if this happens again in another episode where I just have to talk about something from uh, Wind of Truth. And so that. All right. And that was <laughs> Straub's little interlude. And mm-hmm. I am back. I got through like a minute 45 of a song. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. So yeah, so that's what Straub had to say about uh, that. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now, and now that's that's yeah. that's it. I think that's the, the episode. I think that's the episode. Yeah. Um, next time we'll be doing the Hero of Ages. Yep. Uh, and you know what chapters of that will we be doing? I don't know. We'll figure <laughs> it out. You'll see. Yep. You'll yeah. You'll see yeah, what yeah. it is when it happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah. Is, is that's that's it? Yeah. So uh, this has been let's talk about book, and now you can go forth and think about book on your own time. Have a lovely whatever time it is. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.